Okay, there video we go. games. All right, let's see if the net dies this time. <laughs> yeah, let's see if let's see if the same thing happens again. But we'll find. Um, but man, I didn't even set up the uh, you know this the welcome message. So. Oh, did you not even send a tweet? I didn't. I do like one. the fact that you have updated the um the stream name to Snake actually responds to it, right? <laughs> I think you know I've got to be clear in case um, people get the message and think ah this is two days late. Yeah, calling you shut. Sure. I guess we're. I guess we're all working for cops. Anyway, I, it was actually I, the moment I sent the sent either the tweet or the thingy message. So it was literally the moment that you went live. That I don't think it was the moment it went live. I think it was a few moments later. I don't yeah. know though. I haven't checked to see if there's like a tiny vod that's like. Oh no, there actually things. there is because yeah, there was a tiny bit of me. So yeah, it might have been when you sent the tweet. Also, oh, I just said Urban Chaos last time, so people might have the wrong idea. They might think we're playing the old game. And not oh yeah, they might it. think we're playing the original Urban Chaos, not its but not spiritual response to it. sequel. Not its riotous response? Yeah, it's a riotous response. Is that going to be your video title if you do a playing on this? Uh, it depends on how I feel about it at the end. I had a riotous oh. response to the first level. It's quite... That's true. You could also call it playing Urban Chaos Call on It's a Riot. That I could do. Did I just... Did I just... Fucking... I'm so fucking useless, Jesus. Bit what? <laughs> well, I just tweeted Twitch instead of my channel. <laughs> <laughs> Twitch! <laughs> Twitch! 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 <laughs> uh, oh, no, I'm really good at this. I'm a, I am a content creator. I'm a content machine. You're the, you're the king hey, of streaming. This is why you, this is your charm. You're just you're kind of like an old doddering man trying to do your content creation. That's why, why Ludwig, you know, bucks. when he's talking about money mindset, he's always pointing towards your stream and is like, whatever anyway, you're doing, you got to do that. Anyway, I'm the Frank Threbin of this group, so we're Frank Threbin it tonight. Uh, <laughs> we're gonna. I don't know if Frank Threbin could survive this game. What? I no, remember remember when we level. were talking about on that podcast and we managed to bring it into life, which was me telling you about that Seth MacFarlane had wanted to do a reboot of the Naked Gun star in uh, Liam Neeson. Oh yeah, that came on, that's that finally, was tweeted And now about... it's finally happened. So this, yeah, is, yeah. this is the gritty reboot of um, Naked Gun that we were all waiting I'm, for. I, which... I severely, severely doubt it will be half as good as the original Naked Gun, but... Liam Neeson is like pitch perfect modernized yeah. casting. That's yeah, he is. Yeah. He, he, that's why I'm saying like everyone is like, okay, this is probably gonna be shit, but I want to see it because Liam Neeson. Yeah, yeah. I want to. I want to see hello, like a Batman Begins style version of fucking <laughs> of, of the naked gun, gun, just all grit. Uh, we are we're responding to the riot. We are not the rioters. Unless Which maybe riot? when I beat this game, there's an alternative rioter campaign, like an. Well, I was gonna, or maybe it's like Haze and halfway through, maybe it's got size. Let me just. You're probably wondering which riots we're responding to. We're responding to the the riots. Well, we haven't even. Okay, said, good. We, the chat the thing. is. We haven't. The chat thing is. We haven't even good. started the game yet. We don't even know what's going on. Just the action is happening. Yeah, no, I've watched this in. I still haven't gotten sick of this intro, even though it's. I guess it's been running for half an hour for me, longer considering I tried to stream yeah. this on Friday. But this intro's mm -hmm. sick. Just don't yeah, like... stop. Uh, so some fun facts about this game for people oh, who have no injector? idea what Urban Chaos is. Uh, it's the first game by Rocksteady. Uh, the develop and they would then go on to make um, Batman Arkham Asylum two years after this. So yeah. They, I guess they decided to tone it down, because, you know, in a way, Arkham Asylum is kind of a riot response as well. Well, I was going to say, Batman is the ultimate cop, so... <laughs> yeah, no, like, <laughs> Nick Mason! Well, okay, now everybody stand up and salute the flag! Uh, Alright, yeah, salute the flag, salute Nick Mason! Oh, the music! Let's see no. some, sal let's see some no. salutes in chat for the flag and Nick okay, Mason, Nick, please. I have one suggestion. I'm fucking one shotgun suggestion. rounds on the one band suggestion. Brilliant. You replace the N in Nick with a D. That's mm. all. Uh, how about... about... Frank Drebin? <laughs> yeah, I've got a joke, but that's actually better. Frank Drebin is way better than what I've got. <laughs> but... Richard. This is Richard Head. If I have a secret talent, it's typing decently fast on these menus. 
Richard Sharp. Richard Sharp. So, so, so his name is just Dick twice. Dick Sharp. Dick Shaft. No, no, his, his name they is Richard Dick Shaft. Shaft. Richard Shaft. Richard Shaft. 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 Do not put Nick. No, if it was a Hideo Kojima name, his, it, it would be Dick Shaftman. But yeah, I guess in honor of the uh, oh. the movie being announced, we do have to go with Frank Drebin. Excellent. Frank Drebin. By the way, uh, you may have noticed so that this game has like big black bars in it. Uh, apparently, was inspired by fucking Burnout. Like Burnout has like the same menu. <laughs> I was really considering in changing gears and typing Gibbs, but I'm not just gonna go all in on it. See, I think we should do a we should do a gritty reboot of that campaign set in the modern age. That'd be funny. Yeah. Frank, Frank hot Gibbs. dog's still a knob joke. It all comes to knob gags. Eventually, all language is gonna descend into knob gags. That's yeah, it's, it's like human nature. It's like in the film, uh, what's it called? The yeah, Idiocracy, yeah. where Fudruck is just eventually sins into like, oh, fuck the is. The first joke told by Caveman was probably a dick joke. Uh, so yeah, this game also supports uh, uh, like PS2 Nob Online. Gags Ian Pompey. What about Ian Pompey? No, there's Nob Gag Graffiti Ian Pompey. Or am I just making oh, yeah. that up? Uh, no, like, you know, we've just gone on about knobs for, uh, like, all human history. We looked down, yeah. saw it swinging between our legs, and thought, this is pretty funny. Let's turn on the subtitles. Enemy it's death cutscenes, yes. Been, but... Switch to picked up weapons, no. No. No, this, thank you. I, that this, is this, the... is how you know, this is how you know this is a UK-developed FPS game from, from around the fourth yeah. Modern Warfare. This was a horrible design thing, but they seem to know it because a lot of old games that had this, they just gave you the option to turn that terrible option off. Mm. It's because Time Splitters has it on by default, and Time Splitters is the UK standard for FPS, or well, was the UK standard for FPS games at the time. What is the UK standard for FPS nowadays? Well, there isn't still one. Be the, UK, the UK don't make games anymore. Yeah. It just makes yeah, so, Well, hey, I mean, we made the no. Suicide Squad. Yeah. And uh, oh, actually, yeah, that's yeah. No, so that is the weird. Um, that is the weird book ending of um, Rocksteady. They started their careers making an FPS game, and that studio is probably going to get closed down after making a third-person shooter. So. Oh yeah, no. I'm, I'm, no, I'm Channel 7 saying, News. Channel 7 News was such a delightfully happy sounding intro. Da, 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 da. Anyway, so you guys like Robocop? <laughs> Do you? Do, 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 do. <laughs> oh, well, okay. Didn't need such a chipper oh. intro. Whoa! This is Shane. Kaboom! Kablamo! <laughs> Do you think IDOS blew up like an actual build? Oh, no, that's yeah, probably Yeah, they committed stopped, a terrorist right, attack for real footage. No, no, yeah, yeah no, no, no. What As they did, the bad Photoshop. No, no, what, what? they what what really did. No, I'm what, finally, what really like, just went I'm to, writing they, the next just, video now. They just went to a football riot for these footage. Oh, I want to stream Headhunter 1 and 2. I wanted to do some Swedish Metal Gear jank when <laughs> one day. But I've just been sitting on that for so long. Oh, speaking of Swedish Metal Gear Jank, yeah, it uh, took me a moment to realize that, like, Helldivers is just Metal Gear Solid V, like, control-wise. I saw that. Yeah, that was the earliest tweet I saw about it was all the movement tech being out of, like, basically very very similar. Yeah. Apparently that pistol is um, controversial. I do like that that rifle on the bottom, it's funny they're kind of proposing that as a military rifle. That's, that's a sweet character. That is a sweet character. But that bottom Hello, rifle I'm is very... Maya. That bottom rifle looked like an SL9, which is a civilian G36. But because it looks futuristic, it's now a military rifle again. Or a police yeah. rifle. Uh, that's, that's City Mayor. He would fucking just sell out amenities for like... Oh no, he did No, he sold out to the gangs. He said, you run the streets now. And I was up to the cops too. Uh... <laughs> yeah. Look at that cop. That's you also are... a sweet Wait, character. no you're not. You're, you're Frank Drebin. Mercy. I'm not. Yeah, hang on. Yeah, hang, hang on a minute. Oh no, it's the Cleavers. If I was Frank Drebin though. Oh, there's Frank Drebin. <laughs> He's driving <laughs> in. So, original uh, title of this game, T Zero. Zero. No, it was Zero Tolerance. It's the opening line of the game. Yeah. 
Because this is IDOS published, they decided to tie it into the uh, lesser known IP Urban Chaos. So, uh, so by the way, because uh, somebody was you were saying that your Headhunters is on the list. Uh, so this moved up to the top of your must play on stream list because, yeah, we're going to do I this I played the first time. level and it's so fucking amusing. I but I played this yeah. as a kid for a bit, but I didn't finish it. But when I replayed Taser. it, I was like, holy shit, hey. this fucking no, game. Taser run. Taser run. Oh yeah, you can taser run. Well, you're kind of encouraged to do a little of anything. You're kind of encouraged to be a bit of a morally <laughs> schizophrenic yeah. cop. Yeah, no, you can use a cleaver suite if you want. Headshots! Oh yeah, by the way, there's achievements in this yeah, game. Yeah, there's achievements. You're rewarded for headshotting the criminal. Wait, kind of... is the cleaver something you throw in the melee? Both. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, you can... yeah, so he's li literally R1 to throw, R2 to swipe. I'm not, off, you... I'm not off to a good start here. Wait, also... in case you co-worker snake. Snake, you taste your co-worker. Well, let's find out. He you fucked your wife. <laughs> you fucked my wife. You son of a bitch. <laughs> Mission <laughs> for God, oh, the game's just, fucking it, it, built just different. It is just user interface. Well, don't, I am not your daddy. Do not call me daddy. Uh, fuck. I, I know I killed that man. She but again, that's the thing with this wife. game, like, Charizard's Revenge. It is like... Do you, do you, oh, shit. Game, oh, it, it, hey, guess what? It, I've shown James America's 10 Most Wanted. That game is yeah. mad. Yeah, no, America's Next Top Wanted is uh, not the game I was expecting, but it is some that... That, that is an inch Like, that has, like, arcade energy, like um, Blood on the Sand has. That's like a game, mental kind of. game developer making fucking 2001 the arcade FPS. Yeah, no, it, it is like a Flash game with a AAA budget. Yeah, like, if that shit came out on Newgrounds, I'd be like, well, <laughs> yeah. it's pretty high effort, but yeah, that's about what I expect. Yeah, no, it, it's about tonally on par with, um, like, Kill Bin Laden. Wait a minute. Holy shit, I didn't even notice there were guys up there at Shift It. Can I can I get a cheeky Yeah, despite headshot? this being an early game, this did this did predict a lot of like kind of stuff that would be in the 360 era, like achievements, uh, on screen <laughs> kind of like prompts for what your buttons do. Like And again, this is Rocksteady like getting their feet wet on like Unreal Engine stuff before they eventually did. And I was really uh, I mean it's a late PS2 game, but it is graphically but, yeah impressive like this is yeah this is this is 2006 so after the 360s out and yeah it is really good looking like this could pass muster for a, like even like a 2007 360 game i'd say oh yeah like th this could easily be a launch game Ooh, yeah ragdolls even a slow mode yeah has slow mode if this game had bullet cams it would be the even better i'm not it, it would be the best game ever made yeah you mean it isn't just well, story-wise. I mean, we love Cat Murray's, this weird. Yeah, you know, I don't, you know, I'm gonna sound like one of those you couldn't make blazing saddles today, people, but you, people would riot over the, over this Oh yeah, so partially, today. yeah, like, that's the one thing that's stopping this game from being remade, is that you do play as a cop who uses, like, yeah, you like, know. The opening is there's a riot in the city, go shoot everyone. Uh -huh. Yeah, even though you're a police officer, you can use Molotov cocktails and clean I think, Hang on, wait, I what's think... going on graphically with this guy? <laughs> Look at uh, the flames, I'm gonna, that's I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show that up to wait, PC. Yeah. Wait a minute. Yeah, probably, but I really um... like it. I do what, like seeing... What of his twin dancing behind him? No, not th th that's his stand. Maybe, uh... Oh, I see, maybe, that's, maybe they um, are that's Killer Queen. I don't know, actually, I don't know the delay. Hey, this is another mechanic that's pretty neat. Riot Shield. And yeah, you can just. In fairness, they could be more responsive to make over the fact that it didn't work last uh, <laughs> last time you tried. To no, stream. you know what? You think, uh, <laughs> you think Twitch is that apologetic? Like, oh, we're sorry. <laughs> oh no, it's not Twitch. It's whoever your internet your, your oh, ISP right, yeah. is. You know, you think zero that tolerance. Could make That's this. what my liver says when I have another pint. I'll drink to that. Yeah. You know, T think... zero is what the mean boys online say my masculinity is. Damn. But you know. Yeah. You know, guys, you say no one could make this. I, That's I the new word for soy European boys, developer. then. <laughs> I think an Eastern European developer could make this. Well, I was going to say, so games like this kind of exist now with, like, that Please Body Cam game, which is currently being made. But, yeah, it's just a little bit... Uh... I mean, this one is way more in your face. Oh, but... That game's Well, I was going to say, you could get away with this one, because it's this is campy. 
Yeah. yeah, like this is a British developer, and there is, I, you can feel just well. You'll see it when we you saw it in the menu of the American flag and the do 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 do. Yeah, again, it's, it's very blue now in regards to like this is your American duty to shoot people in the head. Oh, I'm not breaking it down enough. for you. I'm I'm from New York, by the way. Oh, oh, I, should, I don't have to bother with headshots anymore. I've already got the achievement. I've met my quota today. Let's get some tasing. I guess, like, a Batman thing as well is just the thugs in these games are, like, completely irredeemable. Yeah, like, it does just go all in on, like, hey. I mean, they're called the Burners and they throw Molotov yeah. cocktails at you. Hey, yo, what's going oh, on? Oh, you need to go after the... Oh, there's a new gang in the city. They're called the Psychos. They cut people up with knives. It's like, cool. Oh, all right, yep. I yeah, understand. Sure, I right. like that level of moral ambiguity. Yeah, no, exactly. Oh, are they, are they the result of like social economic issues? No, they're all just um, crazy. They love okay. Molotov oh. cocktails yes, and want to spread the love. Something. I used to realize something. Yes. We say this, but like the Robocop game came out last year. That is, I, see, that's what I mean when people say you can't make games like this anymore. I mean, I guess you can. You can. Nobody... Yeah, you absolutely fucking can. Never mind. Take it back. When, yeah, is no t when is T-02? Also, this, Two this zero. is kind of This is kind of reminded me of... Oh, when is Urban game. Chaos the return of, Z of uh, Tolerance Zero? Oh, dear. Oh, no. Sorry hey, about yo, that. Hey, yo, you're denied it. Um, also, you don't have to hold the stunner. You could also just hold your handgun and press the O button to use it without holding it. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> hang on. What? You don't no. have to hold the stunner. You can just hold your handgun and press the O button. What's the O button? What well, O is ah! uh, B. Oh, my yeah. God. Nifty. Yeah. Tech. Yeah. They've got That's this game I mean, has tech. Can I quick? You can quick throw a Molotov cocktail. The problem now is I've got a live Molotov. Wow, this game's good. That's impressive. Like, like I said, Rocksteady can't. They be were beat. ahead of the game. Even Suicide Squad, which is dog shit, is still playable dog shit. So. Yeah. Sorry about the tonight the sounds. Good. I didn't catch. I didn't catch that when I was doing my test. Um, I also want to pass on a message from Dr. Corporal British. James, I hate you. I've lost twelve hours this week to Bellatro. <laughs> Uh, well, you know. <laughs> well, sorry, it, it's like it, it, this might be emulation, but I swear when I played this game, there was like a burn effect on the on the shield when you passed through. That I remember, I remember being impressed by, but be, maybe I'm stupid. Uh, we could ask um, we could ask our guest on the episode about that because they'll be yeah. playing up my physical coffee. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to get that in my muscle memory because I'm gonna be. I thought you were gonna say I, I thought you were gonna say I have to get a physical copy of this just to keep it forever. Yeah, Which I might I might actually have a physical copy somewhere. It's the PS2 I don't have anymore. Yeah. And do you do you have a fat PS3 that could play it? Actually, yes. Because hmm. okay. um, I was given one. My mate gave me one. Nice. All right, come on, Johnson. You're the guy with the eggs, Johnson. God, I, wish I, I wish I was named Richard Shaft, because then it would be Shaft and Johnson. I don't know if Johnson's going to be in every level, though. No. But the, ha but the heroic swelling music tells me that our bond will last forever. Well, that's how you know he's a good guy, because he's, uh, he's a fireman. Not as in a guy who causes the fires. This pistol was controversial. Was, was it the fucking yeah. sights on this pistol that were controversial? Because, eh. I don't Maybe. need sights. I mean, I didn't know there was even controversy about this. I mean, I didn't know that anybody. No, it's knew like about in the opening cutscene on the news, like they said, this the new controversial pistol. It's like what? Oh, I'm wondering okay, why it's yeah. so controversial about this handgun, but it's funny. The only other people that I've seen play this game um, on YouTube are the super best friends, and they literally did a one-off and like barely said anything about it. So should this have is, done, you know? Yeah. Yeah, no. They, this game really only got its passing mentions, doesn't it? And again, like as I said to you, maybe the reason why this wasn't well known is because it was one of fifteen games that was released by IDOS in the year two thousand six. Literally, uh, those guys, those guys had a game books. come out every three weeks, <laughs> and then they were at their height. So. Boom! That's, Boom That's fucking awesome. Um. Man. Extrajudicial hey, justice is so fucking awesome. Ah, uh, damn it, you got my kill. Wait, why, why are we talking about Ball of the Cromwell in the chat? Why aren't we talking about Urban Chaos, Colon Riot, Response? 
Get Cromwell out of here. <laughs> no more Cromwell. Only incapacitation. Oops. It's because, you know, these cops are part of Tolerance Zero, which means that they have to, you know, improvise for situations that, you know, other police officers won't be able to deal with. Oh, Slice hell. and dice! dice. Slice and dice! Big Slice. mode! 5,000 points! <laughs> Big mode! Are you sure this isn't- Are you sure this is just, isn't just a fucking on-rails arcade shooter? I thought you were gonna say, sweet. Are you sure this isn't like a fake game that somebody in a sitcom? <laughs> yeah, no, playing? I made I made this in Blender. I'm actually lying. Yeah, yeah no, the, the, this is actually the game that they play in an episode of The Big Bang Theory to show that they're nerds. Yeah, uh, yes, I. Uh, this, this is the game that you see a 13 year old boy play in a film before, like he tries to shoot a. This yeah. is where Tony Soprano walks in, and this is what his son plays. <laughs> oh, yeah, like Tony no, Soprano was watching a this, Mario Kart like, head. Yeah, he loved Mario Kart 64. Yeah, no, that's why he said to he's like Mario. Mario. He's he's an Italian gentleman. Like that's hey. that's that's why I say, oh. hey, switch over to the Mario Kart. All right, okay, hang on. What? All right, you're the leader of this little branch of the gang. Watch how badly I'm about to fuck up your boy. Oh, Ow. Snake! Somebody in the chat just said, "You want to know a cheat code for this game?" As I have the cheat book here that is that I used to use years ago. Open up here. Hell yeah! So he like, just no. has the cheat book for this game. That's good. Ah, oh, jeez. Oh my god, he's still firing the shotgun! Why, why the fact that the gun exploded in his hand when you, uh, electrocuted him enough? Eek, bestie! Seven arrests! Oh yeah, I've got- you do get their sawn off. Look at this fucker. And it's got Half-Life mm. fire both barrels. Granted, it is a double barrel, so that- that tracks. Yeah. Boom! Oh, that, that is, that is that a good should, sounding shotgun. That should send me a foot back. Well, you, it, but it did knock you back a bit, which is like yeah. a nice, uh, you know, piece of realism. Oh, so this, when I played this before, I got stuck on this bit for a while. You kind of got to be, yeah, you got to be slow on this one. This guy can take a few headshots, not the cop. Like, maybe he could as well. I'm not going to test. No, I think, I think this cop is like a Half-Life jobber. Actually, Aaron, can His I pause and check my bonus objectives? Oh. <laughs> right, wow, look at all these objectives. <laughs> Man, wow, look how many you've managed to knock off. It's pretty good. Yeah, busy day. Yeah, that said, I'm never going to find all the masks. I don't do object hunts. Boy. Oh, hello. Uh, unlike Arkham Asylum, that guy behind bars didn't win a competition at GameSpot. <laughs> Low recoil freedom slugs. Oh no, Frank is down too. He's fucking dead. Not Drebin. Or Gibbs. You really, you just gotta wait for the slow mode to kick in. It, re yeah. it telegraphs it. I was oh, I'm yeah, really I think, tempted. Yeah. Do I try? Do I try with the cleaver? I mean, that would be really funny. Let's do it. Actually, sweet. You're saying this like an uh, this is like an arcade game. You do get a riot shield in um, Crisis Zone, which is very <laughs> hell yeah, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Oh, How bad would you feel as the hostage in this situation that Nick well, Mason this guy's just starts... still alive, taking you hostage, but he has like a fucking cleaver sticking out of his head. And just Nick Mason just starts fucking styling with fucking cleavers. Is this that Xbox game G-Man Lives made a video about? It might have got an Xbox version. PS2 is what I know this game for, but... But G-Man Lives covered everything, so I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> yeah, just keep, yeah, just keep shooting the explosive barrels around him. <laughs> yeah, he's fine. <laughs> Throw the kick. Alright, All right, you're under arrest, you burning bastard. <laughs> Get in the fucking prison. Yeah. I mean, this demo would have sold me on the game. I bought the game, so oh, I guess Christ, I was... Oh, yeah, wouldn't this be, like, the best demo to get, like, in a PlayStation yeah. 2 magazine? And I can't go back and get all the hidden masks, so I gotta walk out there and have them talk to me. That's fine. Oh, dang it. Tell me what a good cop I am. Good work, Mason. I will personally... I'm not Mason, I'm Drebin. Yeah, come on. Hopefully he'll let something slip that'll help us get... Maybe Mason died on the way over and they just okay. shipped Drebin in. Oh, so if you care to do cheats, you can do it by going to the main menu and putting the code in, and that lets you uh, do cheats. Oh, okay. Oh, apparently a demo for this came with uh, Blood Money, which was also a game that came out in 2006, so pretty cool. 
<laughs> here's all your medals. Here's your medal for getting five headshots. <laughs> Wow, well, so how did you get that medal? I shot ten perps in the head. <laughs> yeah, I blew it. So, you know, that, that was what they were talking about with reforming the police, you know, a couple of years ago. It wasn't like accountability, it was please stop giving medals for headshots. <laughs> <laughs> we can't encourage this. <laughs> Look, the headshot medal, it's, it's get sending off all the wrong oh, really? message. Even the incapacitation medal is questionable. Yeah, oh, hold on. You're getting blocked, bud. Go Bye. I have a look at that. I'll do cheats later, but no, I'm not going to cheat just for the thing. I love this guy's voice, by the way. Just listen to this fucking guy. Oh, yeah, he's amazing. You have unlocked an extra pistol clip. <laughs> I've never been so an hyped about extra pistol clip. Meanwhile, under the sea. It's an extra pistol clip. It is like it is like they got the super friends announced. It's great. Emergency downtown. Are these are bonus missions, aren't they? And you have unlocked base. waterboarding. <laughs> oh no! Oh, no. Quick, get out of the black site. Oh shit! We have an emergency. A transceiver discovered on the gang members. You know what game has like a similar kind of like American flag waving, extreme like kind of police energy that this does? Um. Pursuit Force. Oh yeah, Pursuit Force is great. Yeah, but Pursuit Force is like one. I mean, I was gonna PSP. say it's the it's the only good PSP game. So I'm sure there's like hey, hey, two. Hey, Power Stone got ported. I guess that. Yeah, makes... but that was a dream. Yeah, but that was a yeah. Dreamcast game first. Hey, those shells have nothing in them. <laughs> Wait a minute, these are dummy shells. <laughs> this is how I unlock the shotgun. Yeah, this game is like, yeah, th this is, yeah, this could be a piece of, like, America's 10 most wanted in um, 50 Cent Blood on the Sand of, let's take a touchy subject and turn it into a fucking on-the-nose arcade game. I don't think I ever used anything. Oh, hell yeah. I don't think I ever used anything <laughs> but the pistol when I was a kid because, you because you know, headshot bonus. Yeah. Holy baloly. They've, they've given you a shotgun. With a fucking handle on the side, because that's... Set itself, it's he set his on mate fire. on fire! <laughs> Boom! It's metal. Boom shakalaka. Yeah, this, this game has got idos magic. Boom shakalaka. Fucking Boom, hell, shakalaka. man. We're, we're, we're literally oh, all... We're, who are the enemies of this game? Crazy guys. No <laughs> fucking problem. Gi give me the shotgun! Wait, yeah. does every kill reset... Oh, I thought the kill reset the timer. Nah. Also, I know one game you might get into and might enjoy, Snape. That being Homefront 2, The Revolution. Yeah, you can um, listen to our pod. You can listen yeah, to we did a, we did a to three-hour get... podcast on that. I, I, I wasn't a fan, unfor I, I wasn't a fan, yeah. unfortunately. I, I'll paste the link to. Yeah, uh, yeah, paste the link. I mean, this is for the same podcast. Um, yeah. I do like urban combat games. Oop. Uh, yeah, you very rarely get them. Uh, bullet time. Man, I didn't use the shotgun too well. Also, didn't use the shield too well. Oh, it's got range. It's got fucking range. Uh, yeah, if you just join the chat, yeah, this is the hit new video game, ready or not. Yeah, uh, snakes <laughs> running it. Snakes running it on low though. Uh, yeah, and low difficulty. I'm kind of like a fucking ubermensch. And he and, and on arc and he's running it in it uh, on arcade mode. I'm not sure if well, it was a good headshot. idea to put the headshot counter in the school level. Oh, good, Nero's Deli. Yum yum. Let's stuff off. Let me in. Oh no, it was a fake door. Am I about to do a? Oh no, not a hostage situation. Uh. Oh yeah, the the suffering we might do on uh, <laughs> BT at some point. Hey, it's the mayor. Oh boy, get town square. Oh boy, we got we got to move. Come on. Yeah, you got a whole ass. Get out of here. This, this is, I mean, it is like burnout. It's just like you're on a timer. Yeah. To, like, knock it's on more the burnout floor. than black was, honestly. Oh. Yeah. Like, Which is, is really weird to think about, considering that was like, <laughs> yeah, whole like idea. one of those games was made by the burnout people. And the whole idea was, what if we made the burnout of shooters and... But this is what this is. Oh, he did a flip. Yeah. 
This game's fucking awesome. Yeah, this game's good. This is the game. This is game of the year 2024, even though <laughs> it came out in 2006. It was a rough year. We had to go back yeah. a little. I mean, Bellatio is good, but it's not a. Uh, I never thought. Yeah, I was too scared of horror games then. Also, I guess I'm not much of a horror game guy. But yeah, I never touched the suffering. But the box art always intrigued me, and like prison set horror game is a fucking good idea. And I think as well, I want to say that like a horror writer was involved with the suffering. Like, so it does have like pretty decent credentials to it. Should I? Do I know in the suffering game? too, though you have demon mode, which I mean, what game can't be improved by demon mode? Prototypes of Urban Chaos were a sequel to that. Oh, oh weird. yeah, James, you sent me a link to that global strike team like SWAT game. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Oh, yeah, but uh, Bro Broobs, who I think, yeah, you're the guy from the uh, Bullet Time Discord. Yeah, no, we, we, we know about that, that, yeah, the, <laughs> the developers, the guys at Organaut who worked on this, uh, yeah, did a SWAT game. Or at least um, Sefton Hill, who was the producer of this, and then went on to be the fucking director. Oh. Uh, and writer of oh. all of the Batman games. There is just was... a list of unlocking stuff. Oh, that's what it's been now, baby. Yeah. Look at this. Oh, this God, awesome. yeah, you have challenges and oh my God. Get 10 medals. Oh, that's get cool. Them. Should I go back? Apparently you can other... get a copy of the Suffering 1 for free courtesy of the US military. How did they make that deal out? <laughs> that's better than is naming that it... your child Doverkin or having Shadow Man on your grave. <laughs> Did, yeah, I was gonna say, how did mid, was this one of those things like when people used to make like games for the military and midway like that's how they got the money, but they accidentally made a horror game set in a prison. <laughs> this game is gonna scare the kids straight and get them into the military. Pistol damage upgrade in one medal. <laughs> yeah, I'm, re uh, I'm gonna yeah. quickly replay this level because I am gonna fucking get that taser bonus. Let's go. <laughs> Get tased. Hey, yo! Oh no, this cop here is using tasers! What is Incapacitated! Oh, Incapacitated! Yeah. Well, that's what I mean. This level's only three minutes long, so it just encourages you, okay, I'm gonna do all brutal, now I'm gonna do all incapacitated, now I'm gonna do all this. Oh, like, geez. I said, I probably should have saved incapacitation for when I've isolated an enemy. Oh well. If I, if right. I remember, according to somebody in chat, if I remember correctly, you can set people on fire with the taser. What? Okay. Yeah. I, how? Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna guess you have to tase them for like. Oh jeez. Oh well. Um. Oh, incapacitated. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. oh, and you still inca incapacitated him. Cool. It was all about the intent, baby. I shot that Molotov out. Oh my god. Oh, this this game is the best. This means you can shoot them when they're holding it in their hand. Man, if I had that mouse injector, his head popped like a fucking grape, man. Oh yeah. How does it feel on a... Uh, because I'm assuming you're using a 360 controller. Like uh, yeah, yeah, I'm using a 360 controller. It's very generous, like, auto aim. I was gonna say, yeah, like, how squirrely does the uh, aiming feel? Yeah, works pretty well. But, Grant, mm. I think the game's pace kind of works for it. That said, I'm... I'm, oh, yeah. I'm killing myself by, like, rushing. I'm panicking now. Uh, I got too cocky. Let's play carefully with this last sliver of health. The, apparently, the taser when upgraded becomes the lightning gun from Returns. Whoa! Whoa. Oh, okay, cool. All right, let's. Uh... All right, you're rescued now. I'm guessing there's you're no. You're safe now. Guns. Thank you for saving me. I am rescued. Please follow me out of Nero's diner. That official needed some kerning. Oh! Yo, you a burning! It's like also just fun about like all the enemies have projectiles and I have a hit scan weapon. Yeah, and even just again, like I, I was playing Tomb Raider 2013 earlier, and like there's bad guys in that who also throw mollies, and yeah, if you shoot the mollies in their hand, they, it sets them on oh. fire. I mean, that, that's probably them. like one of the first things in a design document where they're like, okay, we're gonna have molotovs, and you shoot. Would you the... say that? But Dodging you can't molotovs even... is fun. It's like. Not to dunk on other games, but I don't even think you can shoot mollies in people's hands in The Last of Us Part 2. Wow, I mean, that is a bad game. Did so I shoot his arm? Nice. No, it was just a <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he said it's weird, so. Yeah, you, you went there. 
Yeah, you were right. You were on record. I, there was an enemy up it. there. I didn't kill. I mean, it. Oh, oh I, <laughs> you <laughs> he were about to blow me. Blow him away. I mean, I've watched that game. I was bored out of my mind. I can't it's imagine how boring right. it is to play. I mean, I you were there. Game, you man. made it's it funny. Shit, so it I was... gave up. There we go. I got my I got my non-lethal medal. Excellent. <laughs> so did lead. So it did lead to that fantastic moment of Neil Druckmann standing on. Uncle the... said, "If I donate five hundred bits, can you turn on the disco merch?" Uh, I don't want to cheat right now. I'm sorry. I just yeah, wanna... I was going to say, let's yeah, say maybe, cheats um, to like. I'll do that. For, I'll end. do that for free, but I'll leave it till like the end of the. I'll leave it to the end of the stream. Just remind me, and I'll go and enter the cheats. Yeah. Who is that guy's face? When it when it goes to the save menu. It's an important. Oh, Westside Canals is a fun level. Let's go. How many I levels get to are slip slide down frozen canals? I want to say there's like 15 or tw like there isn't a ton, ton of levels, but the idea is you're meant to like replay them a bunch. Dancing feet. Oh. This is Lanny York for Channel Seven News. It was one of the. There was an officer on the scene doing the sickest shit you've ever seen. Like, holy fucking shit, did you see those heads popped like watermelons? He has been rewarded a shotgun for his efforts. I got a shotgun. If anybody By has a mysterious like, cleaver to the head from a great distance. If anyone has good Google skills, somebody try and figure out who this actress is. Like, if she's like, like in genre I mean, film. I don't think it, having good Google skills is going to help you nowadays. Considering Estevez is isn't that much. Well, she is all they I non. They are an army on a mission. Who was the actress in this? This the actress in the video game Urban Chaos. Yeah. I wanna the see actress her was, on CNBC. was Halle Berry. I don't think that's true. GPS. Hey, I saw adverts for Shift It. Thirty-four arrests have been made so far. Shiny energy. Many That's me at the airport. It's me going to New York. All my Molotovs are in that bag. <laughs> yeah, I need this. If you suspect someone you know to be a gang member, please contact your <laughs> You may be able to notice them by their mask <laughs> and Molotov. <laughs> this game may be tongue in cheek. If you know think somebody might be a gang member, please turn them in to the <laughs> Well, actually, no, because no, of all the graphs, it's, 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 um, it's fucking brass, I so never mind. <laughs> I'm just thinking, with 200 arrests, can you imagine how many are dead? Oh, that's us! That's yeah. Nick Mason! Nick Angel Mason! Nick Angel wow, Mason. he looks kind of like Murphy. Hang on, wait. Oh, yeah, the... he, does, he does look like Murphy from Robocop. Wait, hang on. What was the name of the cop in fucking, um, that Edgar Wright film? Hot Fuzz. Oh, um, N Nick Nicholas Angel, yeah. Oh my god, Nick Angel Mason. Because, <laughs> yeah, because yeah, Hot Fuzz came out in, what, like, 05, right? He's true. Yeah, because Shaun of the Dead was 02, and then, yeah, was a few years up. He can be your angle or your devil. That's true. Da-da-da-da-da-da. <laughs> <laughs> if you suspect your neighbor is a gang member, please set them on fire and receive your- Oh, excellent, you get body armor and sea medals. Try to in the right analog stick for 100, 720 degrees. Wait, what, what did what? that say? Oh, is there- Whoa, a helicopter, helicopter game. game. Oh, no. Oh, no, Frank Trevor is flying in a helicopter. Oh, okay, out. so do, 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 do. actually came out after- mm. Edgar Wright, what was he cooking? Oh, my goodness. Maybe it, was a, maybe it was a reference to the greatest cop game ever made. I was gonna say he and he had PS2 taste. He liked time splitters. So. Yeah, he could have been keeping an eye. Hey, hey Mason, don't use that taser on me. We know what you're like. I saw what you did to the guy. So I my shield is now 50% lighter and more damaging. You know, yeah, I should probably beat Whatever. someone up with this. Hey, brutal! Oh, holy fuck! <laughs> Boom! Shaka laka! Man, the kinetics of this game are mad. Uh, so apparently, so people reckon that the woman who plays the uh, TV anchor is an actress called Lani Minella, and she does look like it. Who I think may have played Ro Rouge the Bat in one of the Sonic the Hedgehog. No way! No. Yeah. 
That's yeah, mad. No, no, that... Wait, I'm going, through, I'm going through. Ouch! Okay, she's... She, she is the voice of Rouge the Bat in um, so Sonic at the Olympic Games. <laughs> oh my god. Pretty cool. So this is actually a gun game. Yeah, it's technically his gun. Gun. Oh, she's well, been in a ton of games. You've got to pop Shadow the Hedgehog's head at any moment. Lanny Manelli, was that the one who was, was she in... Sonic Adventure 2. Okay. Yeah, she yeah. is the voice of Oma Chow and Rouge the Bat in the English I version of Sonic Adventure also the vocal director. <laughs> What's that? I think she was also the vocal director, though. That, that wouldn't, that would, would not be surprising. She's also oh, the voice boy. of Ripley in the Alien Resurrection. I've oh, now Jesus. got to score 20 headshots. I've wasted that. Boom! Wait, where am I? My god, I'm invisible. Oh my god. The fact that she's still at it is pretty Everything's crazy. moving so fast, I don't know if I shot that butcher knife out of the air. Oh, somebody mentioned Ready or Not earlier. She's also, she's also a voice in Ready or Not. My word. Oh, get that back. Oh, he survived. Boom. I've now got to get 20 headshots, which might make this kind of boring to watch as I now head fish for him. Uh, yeah. I shouldn't do that. I should just have fun. I'll it's, that stuff, it's, a, it's not a cake game. Yeah, just go mad. You play through once, and then if you want to go and uh, clean it up, you can. Clean that stuff up. I think that was the problem. That was when I was a kid and I played this on PS2. I would, like, play every level. I didn't finish it, but I was playing every level twice, once just headshotting and a second time incapacitating. It was yeah. the same problem I had with Medal of Honor Airborne, where it was the funniest thing with that game, where its unlock system was, like, by getting headshots and by, like, getting melee oh, kills, you would yeah. upgrade guns. So I would just use one gun after another, just headshotting to unlock everything. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. I'm... Oh no, yeah, yeah, I'm bullied. I'm getting... <laughs> Not anymore. Boom. Boom. Yeah, because Airborne, I think, we may. I, I don't know. I think that's, like, in my mind palace for doing on bullet time, just because of the fact that, like, it's the, the single player of that game is, like, you're doing a multiplayer arena with a bunch yeah. of AIs. You just but got yeah, the bunch way you upgrade your very guns open is, level like, design. um. Can I? Yeah. It's just by using your guns, they kind of get upgraded, and it's a bit like, um, Cave Story. That is a juicy noise. Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, it makes sense. Rocksteady was always really good at yeah. the, uh, sound design. Oh, oh that's Batman's why, like, the, the, sound fucking hard. I'm even, going back to get healed. Even on a game that wasn't Batman, though, you know, they just could do high quality. Man, now, I can't want to now I can't want to replay one of the Batman games. <laughs> this is going to be I your might... yearly replay. <laughs> Well, I was I mean, gonna I... say, yeah, because I tried replaying Arkham Asylum the other day, but, like, it just... It's really awkward to get running on PC now, because a lot of the stuff in it is, like, outdated physics stuff. I might replay Arkham Knight, because I've only done that, like... Yeah, once. no, I was thinking that, too. Really? Uh, actually, yeah, I haven't played Arkham Asylum on my PC. Uh, my new uh -oh. PC, so... Uh-oh. Yeah, Asylum I've replayed, like... Ooh. Like pretty much every year since they came out, <laughs> apart from like this and last year. And <laughs> Fucking hell. Since he ever replayed about ten times as well. I mean, last year you watched me replay it. That is true, yeah. And we were also watching, um, like, Ben replay it, like, not so long ago either. But... Oh. <laughs> I don't whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, it's going crazy. It's 45, yeah, question mark. Sounds yeah. like a 40 BMG. Maybe that's why it's controversial. <laughs> <laughs> well, because they got the gun sound wrong. Yeah, they boosted its but, fucking base so people think they're dying harder. Granted, part of me wanting to replay oh, it I need is, health. Uh, yeah. Health, please. Okay? Yeah, part of me wanting to replay it is just... Trust, I'm glad, yeah, happy to see you. They said something about a the new, the new version, like, what was it called? The new um, collection came out recently, so... Uh, did, might be a different actress credited as uh, okay. Marissa, Remember, Marissa Murray. Officer Bowles. <laughs> Alright, if anyone attacks you, they get the Molotov. And if you need it, well, that's your own fault. No, what do I look like? A firefighter? 
I guess I fight with fire. Well, so I guess this is a Resident Evil game, because everyone's health is represented by an EPG. Yeah. And they could be Beep. giving me herbs. Beep. 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 Right. Yep, your, your heartbeat is still stable. Beep. Beep. In fact, that's not really a good measure of how you're doing in a gunfight, unless it's... Actually, I guess that makes sense for the Batman games as well, because when you're in Detective Vision, you can see the EPGs of, uh, like, mooks. And this game's full of mooks. Wait, what? what's that uh, noise? Uh-oh, hello. Hey. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> hold, hold on, let's get, hold on, let's cut the camera for a second. Yeah, hang on. Something awesome is happening over here. Yeah, yeah hold on. A guy's dying in an epic way. <laughs> Did you see that shit? <laughs> Whoa. Whoa! You know, all this game yeah, is missing is like this could odd just toss some cleavers. Yeah, I can, I can lend her one of my many guns. No. It's your gun. She can't handle them. Nick Mason wants to solo this city. No. Nick, marking. You have to share some gun, Nick. Oh, that's cute. What if you shot it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he... oh, he... Wow, wow. Immersion, immersion, uh, oh. immersion broken. Bad game. I'll try. I'm trying. Wait, so what happened? I... So what was the snowman smiling, but when you shot him, he became sad, or what? I don't know. Can't... Or is he just already... <laughs> hey, there you go! Yeah. 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 Maybe it's an okay game. Aw, oh, jeez. Alright, you, uh, you good to go okay. help them? Heal the city. This guy looks pretty beat up. Mason... I like the military black hawks just sitting there, no help. Well, you know. <laughs> they just want to see me score sick headshots. He's paid by the hour. They're cutting a promo from above. Yeah, yeah they're, they're actually cutting a skate video. <laughs> so, Tony Hawk's Underground 2 is happening somewhere else. Man, I brutaled that guy out of existence. There, uh, Mason, you're not brutal enough. <laughs> Mason, do a 360 kickflip. Next time, soldier, I want to see you ollie the gap. You need help? Uh, yeah. No yeah. Here you go. <laughs> give me the health cube. No but remember, yeah, yeah. Give me the injectable. Thank you. Thanks. Oh, you've it's only got one more. Okay. Maybe a little delirious for the moment, but okay. He managed to say something about his boss being taken by these thugs. Must be somewhere down there. All right, I'll go kill him. Uh oh. Oh, that was um. That, that actually ended up being somewhat useful. <laughs> yeah, how about that? Yeah, well, this really is the best game ever made. <laughs> totally intentional. Meant it. It, it, had, it had predictive, um, uh, stupidity correcting measures. You know, yeah. I always felt yeah. like Halo 3 kind of had that. I got so far, like, because there's so many videos coming out of, like, you know, physics kills, I thought. Are the physics slightly magnetic? Because some things are too perfect. Granted, it was also just because it had a theater mode, everyone was posting clips. I I wouldn't be surprised if there was like a slight bit of like. Well, I mean, it certainly had aim correction. But, yeah, uh, but like with sometimes you'd knock an object over and it would just fly into an enemy in a way, and it's like, hmm. But that also, yeah. no game has ever impressed me as much as knowing who, like, caused the kill, even at the end of a chain of events. Where it's like, how did the game know the logic of this player, like, knocked this object over and it hit someone else? Or, like, an explosion yeah. through a box in someone else. Like, I've never seen a game get as good with, like, oh, yeah, it went, that guy caused that. I gotta imagine it's gonna be something <clears throat> as simple as, like, if you knock an object that suddenly, like, flags it with, like, yeah. the first knock. So if anything else happens to it, because like if you knocked it and he killed you, that would like probably count as a suicide, like in Halo. So yeah. Uh, all right. I probably shouldn't use the Molotov. Halo Infinite has a funny thing where you'll be credited for a road kill if you snipe an enemy driver in the vehicle, then run somewhere. That's, over. See, that's, that's the shit. shit. Yeah, that's really good. Hang on, I think there's a mask back here. Can you just wait a moment there's on the hostage sitch? Oh, dang it. Hmm. Wish the manager open your door, I need that mask. 
Wow, that's super locked. Oh. <laughs> He's just waiting around the corner like, where's that cop? God, I'm, I'm really dying over here. <laughs> hey, I'll work it here, you what you say? Oh, office windows. That's a good shout. Yeah, I'll go back in a moment. Hopefully the, the mission doesn't, like, lock me out. Actually, wait, hang on, yeah. <laughs> just... yeah. Oh no, it's, re no, it's reinforced glass. Hmm. Nick, be real fucking careful. Yeah, I don't know. Dang it. Nick, what the fuck are you doing? I'm not good at puzzles. He's dragging me further into his nest. Help. I guess I'm also not very good as like a hostage savior kind of guy. Oh, okay. Especially when there's like good masks about. Listen, I want to help with this hostage negotiation, but I need to get another incapacitation kill so I get another medal. Oh! Whoa! Oh, yeah! Oh! Yeah, oh. condition aggression! Holy shit. You took your time. <laughs> Judging by your kill count, you're a great cop. I'm the best. I'm glad I've saved you, J. Jonah Jameson. Got the second. Motion blur sliding in and out, like if Jake's a complete stuff, there's like, it is great. Like, every game should just have this. This game is a lesson on style. Yeah. Oh, this game has it. Hey, hey, another mask on the back yeah, right yeah. behind you. I heard a crash. Oh, got the mask. Somebody stop me. Me. Yeah, yeah the, the mask should be in this game. Oh no. You'd carry. Nobody cared who I it, was until I put on actually, the mask. No, no, he is curious. Yeah. Help me! Oh, is he gonna open the office what? for me? Has there Ooh, ever been? Yeah, a... there's an idea. Has there ever been a mask video game? Oh yeah, yes. no. It's on the SNES, and the only reason I know this is because of AGDQ, um, they they speed round the game in front of one of the developers, and he had no idea about like. <laughs> there's basically a th like how the game was programmed. They were able to All like right. cheat a lot of stuff. The program was like, oh, I had no idea about that. This is a game that I made 20 Actually, yeah. years ago. Yeah, that makes sense. I'm kind of shame that when Salamask came out, there wasn't like a really shitty 3D game for the PlayStation for it. I mean, well, the problem is, is that the mask came out in 94, so... Oh, I thought it said Son of Mask. Oh, oh. Son of... Oh, yeah, but who I was... I think I went... The... I've, looking... I've, I've, I've gotten lost. What? Oh like, no. Who was riding or dying for Son of the Mask, sweet? The people making it, I don't know. Uh, I don't oh yeah, I, I literally saw the power and I didn't put two and two together. Man, now I'm just remembering the fucking shitty PlayStation 2 Garfield game I had. How bad was it? How many are I... there? Yeah, I was gonna say, imagine there's gotta be a few, right? I, I think this one was based on the movie. Right. And it wasn't... it wasn't good. <laughs> Now I've got to wait for it. What? What's no dog That's life? a good point. Yeah, maybe the, maybe that will open up then. Uh, there probably was a girl who dating so I want to date to my other favorite WW. <laughs> Garfield dating team, except you're trying to get John laid. Oh yeah, his name's Walker. Okay. I wonder if he also makes math. No, wait. Walt We're about Walker. to find it in the oh. basement. Oh my god. No, he's the Lost Walker brother. Ah, he's going back to his office. Oh, good, now you can get his mask. Hey, are Go you a gangster? Office. I suspect you. I've got, a I've got to review a movie, man. It's so a fuckload of balls. <laughs> <laughs> I love the conviction in that delivery suit. It's a fuckload of balls. <laughs> Give me that collectible, even though I'm not going to find the last one. Give, give me that Borderlands mask, you shit. Hey, what? There's hey, a lot of incriminating good. evidence in your office. I'm a little bit... So for example, you being a Borderlands fan. <laughs> oh yeah, anyone who's a Borderlands fan, they get it instantly. I don't think... They get, I, they get zero tolerance. I don't, I don't think there's any Borderlands fans left after that movie trailer. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know. Hey, 20 fucking... headshots. 20 headshots, good job. Hey, stop oh, stealing my kills over there. They're mine. Incapacitated. Oh, I only need five of those. 
Maybe I can finish that up. Oh yeah, I was going to say, do you think you might be able to squeeze in two more before the uh, head of the level? It depends on if this is the end of the level. Thanks for your help. I Thank you, Nick. To meet us when this mess uh, can, can, can we, like, Thank can you, you just ship in a couple more gang members just for me? Whoa, oh, here yeah. they come. Oh, I was going to say, lucky you, here they come. Whoosh. Oh no, I cleared oh, no, all no, no, of the west dude. side. You know what? I can't imagine life before Borderlands. That's this just is too Sally much Taylor to reporting consider. live for Channel 7 News. I'm standing on Saunders Street Bridge looking over the sea. I think Borderlands has a pretty solid uh, like gameplay loop. It's just speaking, right speaking of Borderlands yeah. fans, look who's joined the chat. Okay. Yes, yes, that the writing for Borderlands is kind of yes. I I, I love I've Borderlands so much Borderlands 2. Yeah. How much Borderlands do you oh, hey. play? Hell yeah. Uh, well, like, one time I was at, like, my cousin's house for a sleepover, and we played yeah. most of it. I remember I hating do. the comedy. I was like, man, clap <laughs> good. Track. good. Clap. That, that's, 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 that's why Cherry is part of the, these streams. He's <laughs> that's my like, vetting like, process. Yeah. It sucks. Do you, yeah. yeah, your vetting process is, do you like Borderlands? And if they give any answer other than no, then it's not a good fit. I also accept fuck no. Fuck me. Well. Hmm. Two leaders, two emergency. I know what I do love, though. Yeah. America. Yeah. yeah, I was going to say, you, are you saluting for the flag currently? <laughs> I'll give you a yeah, moment no, to no. salute ha that flag. Ha ha hand over heart, you know, star-spangled banner. This this game is about American exceptionalism, as we're about to see right now. As we're about to oh, create boy. a lot of Ch American Channel exceptions. Channel 7 News. Channel 7 News. Channel 7 News. Oh my gosh. This is amazing. More gang violence last month in a shocking assault. Give me a minute with them. The burners invaded the area. Hey, the I burners. don't have Uzis. Are they about to get Uzis? Oh, so I'll be, uh, I'll be back in the search. Battles oh. against the violence. Its leader is now coming under fire. Sergeant Adam Wolf is accused of <laughs> gang members. That guy posts videos from his car nowadays. Keats is calling for an immediate investigation. Meanwhile, Mayor John Wyatt is facing criticism for failing to resolve gang activity. Yes, yeah, Wade, why did your character fail to resolve the gang violence? I didn't shoot them fast enough because the regulations <laughs> held me back. <laughs> I, 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 sorry, I was just laughing because it's like, what IDOS officers do you think they just filmed those shots at where it's like <laughs> they could only get a crowd of three people? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm just like reading like the bottom messages. Whoa. Um, yeah. man, man, this really does look like a local news, like, I was, show. Yeah, this this is very, um, well, I said it's like brass side, but yeah, it is just very from the headlines. Yeah. Firebomb. That's the least surprising thing I've heard. You know what game this is, like, giving me, like, vibes of? What? Metal Wolf Chaos. That is a very yeah! American game. Yeah, I can see that. Like, it is very tongue-in-cheek. So, Chariot, this is, um, Urban Chaos Riot Response, which me and Snake are going to be covering on bullet time. Now, the most interesting thing about this game, at least before you see the gameplay, is that this is the first game that Rocksteady made before Batman Arkham Asylum. Oh, oh, interesting. Yeah. This came out in 2006 <laughs> on the PS2, and yeah, Batman was then like 2009, I think, or 2008 on the uh, 360. And oh my gosh. Yeah. It, th this game actually doesn't look that bad. Well, no, it well looks okay. Awesome. I haven't seen the gameplay yet, but. Oh, wow. It. it... Well, so far it looks actually kind of okay. It's pretty fun. Like this is a real dumb good shoot up. I've got. To, let me just see what I got to do. Okay. Oh well, my god, like, Webster Street. The visuals Hello. are actually really good. Oh yeah, Webster Street. I've got Webster Joy from it. Yeah, we're on Webster Street. All right, let's get five arrest. Oh, let's just do. What yeah. We so do. this, is, so this is like a late era PS2 game, and yeah, it just looks really solid. Wait, did you just fire your gun upside down? Oh no! I've got, no, I've got that's a taser. A, no. You have a taser. Oh, a oh, I see. I've got to find oh, those. It like oh, it's a, those. There okay. they are. God, that's. I'm not sick of that sound. I don't know if I ever will be. So there's many achievements in this game, and you get them for doing headshots. You also get them for incapacitating people with a taser. Ooh. Yeah. yeah. So you got to mix it up. 
or like you gotta, you is these levels are quite kill. short. You know, yeah. this is a game that would be good on a like games gone quick. I feel. Nope. Nope. Yeah. Wow, yeah. I I beefed that. Yo 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 yo. This should this should have like a Metal Gear Solid three like the sorrow thing. Uh, I don't think, how many people you kill. Yeah. I don't think Nick Mason is yeah. capable of feeling sorrow, so it just won't work on him. Yeah. <laughs> He'd be like oh, riding enough. his shield down that river like a surfboard. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, we're playing the PS2 version. Yeah, that's the thing with the Punisher game. I I I don't know if I'm gonna bother getting a because that's another game we're doing. I might. Oh hello. I was thinking of trying to get like a PC copy. Oh, I didn't headshot him. What Not a shit. complete. Wow. But it's it done, boss. Oh, I see Oh you. my god, he's got the Chibi Robo water squirter. The Chibi Robo exclusive to Walmart. Alright, you're yeah, not about to appreciate good. what I'm going to do. I'm about to make your job harder. <laughs> But yeah, you play as a police officer in the T Zero department of uh, who they're kind of like a mix between SWAT and like kind of first responders. But like their thing is that they can use enemy weapons. They, they can oh, sort of... yeah. oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yes. um, and I shot the bullet out of the air. Yeah. Oh my. Oh, I wish that slow uh, mode all the way cams in this game. Much like Arkham Asylum is like kind of a patchwork of lots of great bits from other games, this also similarly is like that. And the way that we kind of described it earlier is that like this is kind of like if Burnout was an FPS game, which is ironic because the people who made Burnout also tried to make an FPS oh, game. Oh, Crispy! 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 It didn't take away my incapacitation bonus, so I guess that. Oh no, it did. Never mind. I guess the game is uh, like, no, you you took it a little geez, bit far there. You just wanted him to be well done. He was well and truly done. You can trigger the slow mo. Oh, hang on, I uh, I gotta scroll up to the mutant comment. Mutant 1988. What are you saying? You can trigger the slow motion. But every shot with a stick movement. Oh yeah. Really. Rotate analog stick 720 degrees. Huh. Let's go. Oh my. <laughs> you do the Robocop uh, TJ Laser move. That's great. This is the best game ever made. Thank you. <laughs> so that's how that happened. Can you do that with everything? Like uh, the taser? I've got a C now. Yeah, hang on. Uh, does. I mean, I've got one stored, so... Yeah. I've got a slow oh, motion in the amazing. tank. Yeah! Whoa. Oh, you need to try and taste. I will. Taste with hey, it doesn't motion. have a unique... The shotgun doesn't have a unique animation, which is kind of a shame. To taserer. To taserer. Does the taser have a unique animation? What happened to Steve? Have I missed? I've been so in the source of murdering people, I might have missed something. Oh yeah, sorry. Hey, Snake, grab the mask. There you go. A what? Oh, you grabbed the mask. Oh yeah. Anyways, yeah. Try, try and see if you can 720 on the uh, taser. I've got, I've got one stored. Ooh. Okay. Do you need medical assistance? Yeah, hit me up. Yeah. Give me the cube. Alright, what did I have to do? I have to go up here. Uh, check the options menu, I guess. I can use this ladder, so it's probably in one of these. But yeah, I might check. I'll check the options if all else fails. Oh, no, a mask. They just love leaving their masks on balconies. And Evidence no... collected. There's no jump. Well, yeah, you need those masks to prove that the uh, burners are responsible for all this burning. Weep. Yeah, this is the, like... Outside of the first party stuff, this is like ah. like a pretty top tier FPS game. Yeah, like I it, it looks graphically like, like like you can tell that they put a lot of effort into uh, the presentation here. Oh yeah, input. And yeah, they're having we... fun with it. It's kind of have it has like sort of a burnout sort of arcadey feel to it, which like a lot of yeah. stuff like Halo was trying to move away from. 
or even like okay. Metal of Honor and okay, so you can still do so. Damn, only the pistol has the fucking cowboy animation. Damn. Um, Wait, so 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 you can use cleavers as as a weapon? Oh yeah. Man, Aha. this game has it all. Man, it. Oh yeah, and they can slice, or you can throw them. You got it all. I'm on it, come on. Oh, you are, um, you are not on it. No, you, think, you, are no, you have to activate the search, I think. Yeah. yeah. My bad. You have to... Uh, yeah, ignore that. It's your fault. Your fault. Come on, get, 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 on, get on with it. Do your job. Listen up. It's real smoky in here, and you need all the help you can get. Take this breather. All right, I'll take a breather. Fire department thermal vision and protection kit. Anyway, we call it breather. You can use the <laughs> That was a labored explanation. Oh, oh, hold on, the, the writer of this game yes. is being paid by the line. Let's put some redundant dialogue in. So who's the subtitle? We have to give you the backstory on your respirator device. Ah. Wait, that's not a thermal breather. That's fucking. That, that's an infrared it's, it's mode. It's fine. It's everything. Hey, the goddamn Punisher's in here. Get him. I mean, sorry, the Predator. I got it. Listen, I'm yeah, kind of in a burning. Yeah, I don't know if I'm not sure if thermal goggles would be very good in a hot zone. I'm blind. Uh, I, I, no, it's like I um. Not. I mean, it's like my favorite Michael Bay thing, which was when they interviewed fucking Affleck for the DVD version of Armageddon, and he goes yeah. to him and he's like. Wouldn't it be easy to train astronauts to be drillers rather than drillers to be astronauts? And he said, shut up, it's fucking cool. Yeah. <laughs> Just shut up, shut up. Shut the shut fuck up, up. man. That should have been the end up, of man. YouTube movie nerds, like, right there before it even Yeah, jumps well, and that's what air. I mean. I think Michael oh, Bay, his, he was involved in this of, why would you wear thermo goggles in a fucking, in a burning building? Because it's fucking cool. I have a suspicion about this door based on how fucking hot it looks. Yeah. Yeah, 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 it's like some I, Kevin I, McAllister trap. I remember this uh, mechanic. Yeah, Backdraft like, door, oh, interesting. A huge, explosion of a huge explosion, man. Turned him to ashes? <laughs> how fucking hot was it? I feel like the... <laughs> Wow! <laughs> <laughs> now I'm gonna turn myself into ashes to show you how that works, boy. Oh, call that a forest of fire! Woohoo! Woohoo! Oh, 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 now boy. watch how sick this backdraft door is. Yeah, now check this shit. Ooh, a little close to the sun there. They're more careful. I imagine they're more careful about backdrafts in real life. You know, I never actually knew what a backdraft was, but, uh,. Oh yeah, I had one of those. To, and, to be, and to be honest, after watching that, I still don't really know if I know what a <laughs> I think I know less. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hmm? It's pretty hot in here. Okay. Oh yeah, it does slow motion. Oh, yeah, mm. and even then, like, just oh, the Arkham no Asylum thing of, you know, they haven't got skeletons in them, but this is kind of just detective vision. They understood a good ragdoll from minute one. Oh, Crackstar, yeah. All it needs is like you slam getting into a ground and then bounce off. Oh, but even oh, Batman okay. even has it when like you knock out the last guy, like it, they just die in. Well, they don't die, but they get knocked out in slow huh. motion. It has little thermal hit markers. Yeah, that's that's yeah. that's, that's well, like, great attention to detail. It, 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 it also like the electricity on Ooh. your taser, like that that's thermal too. Yeah, they really know their stuff. Open this door, door jockey. And to think this was one of 15 games that Eidos put out in 2006. All which were pretty much to this quality. You really shouldn't have told me about the 720, because it's, it's... I can't help myself anymore. The criminals are fireproof. Well, they this are the game, burners. This game is going to take twice. They're not my fireproof. Well, 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 They're not firepower proof. would be a problem that would take care of themselves. you think. If they are... Do you think there's a burning. burner in this building right now who's like, you know what, I'm really not feeling this. <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> it's like I'm oh cr it's like I'm cranking yes, up it's a T Ford, like a model T Ford here. Headshot in everyone. <laughs> <laughs> this game is going to take twice as long now because of the slow mo. Twice as long. This is this game's never making it to AGDQ. <laughs> Look, Snake, we've let you into AGDQ, but you really shouldn't. It's really inefficient to just keep doing the slow Snake, motion. Snake, you said you'd have this done in forty-five minutes. You're now in hour six. Yeah, but look we've, at that headshot. We've had though. to, we've had to yeah, cancel. Yeah, but it's so the, cool. We've had to cancel the Klonoa run. You're eating into the Mario Sunshine run. Yeah, but, yeah, but watch this. Yeah, but like, you've seen Mario Sunshine. You've never seen this. And you've just been the gun again. <laughs> yeah. I say watch this as I like, miss repeat. All, okay, not all, rage three Klonoa, all three Klonoa fans are rioting outside of the studios. <laughs> and two of them are transparent. <laughs> yeah. I wish it followed the cleaver. I wish it followed the cleaver. I'm gonna get one more incapacitation. Oh, it's normal incapacitation. Uh, it doesn't work on the. Oh, wait. It's done. I will, I'll set the next one on fire, but. Oh, nice, and you arrested the gang leader. Nice. Yeah. I did that totally by accident. That gang leader will give us information we need. <laughs> it's a good oh, thing I didn't no, set him on cancel. fire because I was about to do that. Yep. Really sticky to them Klonoa fans. Hey, now, no, no need to be me to all three of them. Good work, Mason. They're They're in this game. You're actually playing as Klonoa. Yep. Ooh, this is a nice looking... Again, it's like Batman. You turn off uh, fucking detectives mode and you go down. This is a good looking game. Look at that sun. And then you turn it on again. And yet there's people who pretend that they're like PS2 evangelists. Or so there's only one... There's only two good-looking games on the PS2, and that's Tekken 4 and Snake Eater. So Tekken 4 and it's Fur Fighters Vigo's Revenge. Yeah, yeah when I'm playing, Vig yeah. playing Vigo's Revenge. I'm playing Vigo's Revenge. I'm Tekken 4. No one wants to play Vigo's Revenge. Like At work? Oh, it's your girlfriend, she's back. <laughs> I like she yeah. says we gotta stop meeting like this, which I really don't have to take that given the context of the game, but cool. Oh yeah, it's my patient does look pretty good. I yeah, that's spy fiction rep to me. Got a funny intro. Johnson, to see your mate. Team. Hey, he's fiction, back. It's, by the way, it's the boy first Johnson. appearance of um, Forrest, whatever his name is, who appears in all the Suda 50, uh, in all the Swarry games. Forrest Kaysen. Yeah, Forrest Kaysen. Oh, hello. You're a sneaky boy. Shoot him in the leg. Oh, buddy. Oh, you're gonna get the slow mo. I'm yeah. Oh, I wanted to see the body go all the way. Wait, hang on. Hey, get him again. Bye bye. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Ah. Oh, uh... It's the you fucking bumped on the fucking. Hey, it's free. I thought you I thought you were knocking the door and get back. Yeah, yeah. come on, you're not done it's yet. The bonk alert. Really done. Yeah, Grand Turismo oh, 4 yeah. does look amazing, but yeah, it is also yeah, racing games can, can just sort of oh, get away with that. That's the one that you said it can do uh, 1080i. Oh, you can, yeah, if you have the right component cables, you can get a 1080i out of it. Don't know if that's a hot door. It's not a hot door. No. You see the red I love ragdolls, man. Die! <laughs> <laughs> you gotta respect him. He came out on fire. He, he's really living up to the burners, man. Yeah. But he burned oh. out. He's the. This is an old game. This, this is an old game. This is nope. an old game. Does it have a big head mode? Oh my god, you actually see the bullets yeah. on your... Yeah, no, yeah. you do. I was gonna say, sweet, do you mm. think all the um, the mook dialogue in this is how they managed to get Batman Arkham Asylum? Maybe. Probably. Like WB just like, like, they just hear the mooks being like, I'm burning up! And they were like, yeah, you, you got the job, you get oh, this. That guy, he had time to watch me pull out the double barrel and just think, oh, fuck. Oh no, he's I do also like the... that, like, that technically counted as a headshot. I mean, I mean, his head went. Yeah, yeah, you technically did shoot it in the head. Yeah, Whoa. I knew. I was, I was ahead of the game with you on that one, Johnson. I was taught about the backdraft doors by Forrester. Keep up. Oh, hey, Johnson's back. Yeah. Don't bother. 
Maybe your name would have been better if it was Hell, Dick God. Dick McDick, whatever it was beforehand. <laughs> Dick Dick Dickler. Oh, hello. Go Dick carry Dunkler. that civilian, Johnson. Okay, we're running out of time. Oh time. shit. Oh boy. Okay. Well, okay. Where, where, where are we going? Aren't yeah, three yeah. people that you're supposed to supposed to rescue? I guess now we are, yeah. I'm not about saving the exit civilians. Times are really I'm about warm, so you know murdering yeah. bad guys. Well, yeah, you know, it's all the neon. Yeah, we need to get this guy out of here. That's true, yeah. Okay. Uh oh, backdraft door, I think. No, it shouldn't be. I think be. that one's nah, fine. That's, it wasn't that hot. Uh, can I carry I think this you can one? Only pick up, I think you can only pick up one guy at a time. Oh boy, okay. On, Mason, he's out of time. I don't know the way out hey, of here. Hey, Mason, come on. Do I look hey. like a civil engineer? I could have been a civil engineer. We have to see the slow motion headshots. Uh, this is the exit. It doesn't have an exit sign. Yeah, I was gonna say you might have to send off berry vision to figure out. Yeah, I'm not joking. Again. Oh, yeah. I'm stupid as fuck. Okay, I think this one's a. I think this is a lost cause, this one. Exit. Oh, have I gotta go up? <laughs> I'm stupid. I'll get this eventually. The exit signs on the. Uh, I was kind of more terrified and not looking at those. I would not be a good first responder. Snake read first so much shit. responder. He, he read so much yellow paint discourse. He was like, I'm not. I'm not looking at obvious signs. Hey, you gotta stop meeting like this. Okay, listen up. We know there are civilians trapped in that dwelling. I'm not gonna lie though. I'm gonna bet those exit signs aren't gonna help an idiot like me. Oh no. I'm gonna be a, I'll be a well, like, I, you know, I, I'm just curious how you're supposed to handle three civilians like that. I'm hoping well, I think they you all have, have to, No, you have to take them to the exit one by one. Oh, oh boy. I wonder where we'll get to PS2 Aesthetic Indie. Oh, we're already there. Don't worry about that. We, we've, we've had those for a while. Uh, I've lost I've and, lost the, uh, you know, one take medal. Big Catch is going to be out anytime soon. That literally looks like a launch PS2 game Snake. with, like... I mean, I think that one looks a bit more GameCube. No, like it is very, no, it's very specifically um, Jack and Daxter, like the way that he, because the GameCube didn't do a lot of, um, like per pixel motion blur, like somebody has said in the oh, chat, is like, that is like, was something very specifically PS2, but, uh, but other maybe, than that, Maybe like, I was just thinking of like Mario Sunshine. No, I mean, um, Hat and Time kind of looks like Mario Sunshine, like graphics wise. Ah, uh -huh. uh, yeah, yeah, I had to go up the stairs. Yeah. This shouldn't be too hard if I... I yeah, no, with no, the blindness, know. I had this weird thing of, like, thinking I was falling through holes. Order complete. Oh, also Order flashlight. Complete, man. Go look for a way to shut that gas main off. Where is the gas okay. main? Whoop. Probably beyond that door. Oh. Oh, no. That's gonna... Oh, no, you got it. That's going to activate the time limit. Well, I think it only activates the time limit the moment that you pick him up. So. No, I think it's when yeah. I got in range of him. Yeah. So I... No problem, man. Yeah, if you think about it, the best way to solve the problem is just create another gas leak. <laughs> well, that would solve a lot of problems all at once. Yeah. Another gas leak with another gas leak with another one. Oh man, I can do my laundry here. My bomber cyberfunk arguably kind of looks like a Dreamcast PS2 game as well, like cell shaped bodies. Uh, well, yeah, we're kind of, we're, we're kind of there. You know. Yeah, you know, you know, like I don't know. I was playing it N64. Yeah, pseudo regalia is very N64 look. Okay, it's, yeah, it's got those N64 textures, except for the, the characters. Those are very crisp. But that's because, which is, uh, just, which yeah. is just false. They need to, they should dedicate, they should go all the way. Make it look like shit. Nope, 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 nope. 
moment I get near you, you're going to start choking to death. I am not activating your death timer. Hey, so I mean, my, my yeah, if only actual firefighting was so easy. Ah, there's oh, the gas main. Yeah, I guess I'll help you. Hold on, you, you stay there for a second, but uh, I got a tennis yeah. crank. I'll, I'll be I'm choking. I'm choking. All right. Yeah, go grab him and let's make our... Ow! Make our escape. Oh, fuck. Where are you assholes coming from? I'm, coming I'm from trying to save town. civilians here. Hey, we need a hurry. We need to get out of here. Hey, hey, this place is on fire. We gotta get out of here. Hey, yo, really Tony, I think I saw... Tony, I oh, think yeah, I saw this the place is pretty hot, huh? Tony, I think I saw the bat. I don't know why, but this um, this sort of like hotel kind of thing reminds me a bit of that level from um, Left Dead 2. Yeah, Thinking the same, same thing, literally. Because I think it's also because it's like it's at sunset as well. And... Yeah, well, it, it, you know, it's kind of got like the destroyed look. Yeah. yeah. Um, and like, you also start literally on the roof like this. Right, so what that. we're saying is, is the valve rips off uh, Brocksteady once again. Well, you know, I don't need to arrest anyone. I've I've arrested enough. I can just murder people now. Nice. <laughs> you you put you bought a hey, Nick. You quota is filled. Got to go murder them. <laughs> All right, Nick. This looks good in the papers. Now uh, start popping the headshots. Well, I was going to say, yeah, the next frontier is when we're going to get like 360 euro graphics, and I guess that's going to be when we have. A lot of bloom and a lot of brown. Yeah, yeah that's gonna make the I mean, most I mean, brown game ever made as a nostalgia throwback title. I mean, yeah, I mean, I look forward to I'm, I'm gonna be honest, I don't particularly super like the PS1 or N64 throwbacks, mainly because PS1 games generally doesn't look I good. I was mainly on, like, Dreamcast at that time, and those games look really nice. <laughs> that's yeah. like, well, yeah, that's like they were the using, like, yeah. um, Dreamcast there were a lot of, like, arcade, yeah. um, where they had like bright ass graphics to get you to And all, I also just think a lot yeah, of people, going? when they try and recreate PS1 graphics, it's really not like, I don't know, it's just they're trying to capture aesthetic, but they do it in. But they also you know, like, do it a little bit in regards yeah. to, because they also try and recreate the look of CRTs, where like. Mm -hmm. I feel like most, a lot of people would probably be used to like playing PS1 stuff. I, I never it's see anything good about those fake CRT looks like. No. Never. I don't, like, um, it's funny because I ended up turning it off in, um, Blatcher, and yeah. I occasionally stick a, I occasionally do, like, CRT filter stuff on my, on, like, my videos where it's, like, if it just makes, because a lot of games when you capture emulation are usually a bit too sharp and a little bit too dark, because mm -hmm. it's meant to be compensated by a brighter and fuzzier television, but... Yeah, a lot of games that try and do CRT looks, they kind of, like the one in Sonic Mania is the big one. Yeah, no, I'm trying to oh, remember. Like, yeah. A lot of those, like, a Sega, like, yeah. a lot of those Sega emulator packs you can pick up have, like, yeah. just smoothing, oh, worse than, smoothing is worse than fucking yeah. CRT Oh, looks. yeah, so, yeah, all those NES emulators which had, like, Super Eagle 2X, like, smoothing, yeah, like, looks genuinely ugly. Yeah, but but that is aimed at people who are like, if I see like a raw pixel, I am going to die. I'm, I'm yeah, yeah, like, like, like I There's love retro games, but here. I hate looking at pixels. Yeah, it's Mark. It's actually Marky Mark. Just going. I, I see a pixel. I, I, I see a pixel here. No, if a pixel came into my house, I'd hit it with a baseball bat. Easy as that. That that Adam Sandler's movie was awful. If I ever see a single copy of it. No, Adam, he came to my house. He said, I want you. I need you. It's the Pixels movie. I said, Adam, you come anywhere close to me. I'm going to knock your head in. He's he said. I was, I was playing on my CRT, but then it got stolen by Adam Sadler. He took it to the a smash tournament. With your Marky Mark, the Marky Mark impression is that you have to get like higher and higher pips. Like, <laughs> you which is not what he sounds I'm like at all. I apologize you know. for everyone that I'm just... Uh... That's fine. Around. Do, you, do you think it's behind that fire, or is that like? Wow. Uh, is that like something that you're not bit, supposed bit, to put bit out? Bit of streams. Yeah. Your, your name is uh, hovering on block at the moment for saying that was a nostalgia critic as bit. So. Gonna, wow, that'd be an abuse of power. I know. That's one. Mm. I mean, it's about it's, sending it, a message. It's my. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, channel your inner 
you know, dictator. Ch channel your the, channel your inner awesome. That. I mean, let's be honest here. Like, doing shitty bits like that made while Dark I, Walker doing popular. Doing shitty bits while I walk around lost in a I thought you were going to say that made Doug a billionaire, and it's like, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> well, can you also, imagine? But games, also, making shitty bits like that is what made uh, Richard H. Williams popular. <laughs> Richard, Richard H. H. Williams? R R Richard H. Do you, do you mean Patrick? Do you, do you mean Patrick wait, 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 wait. No, yeah, sweet. You combine two people together. You can combine Patrick H. Oh, Williams and, and Richard Williams, the animator. Oh, yeah, I did. I guess I guess Richard Williams just takes more headspace in my head than... Uh, I mean, he's more important. Yeah, he, 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 was, the, he was the animation director on Roger Rabbit. Uh, why yeah. do I walk around in He also made, like, that, like, Cobbler space. movie. Oh, yeah, he even the got... Cobbler. We know it, we love it. He also made a bunch of really cool, like, ads back in the day. Yeah, he made Sweet's favorite ad, which is right. when um, Superman beats Man up Nick O'Teen. Oh, upstairs. yeah, he did! Nick O'Teen. <laughs> Just... <laughs> I forgot, I forgot that that happens in Pixels. Josh Gad singing Tears for Fears almost made my dad and I leave the theater when we saw Pixels. <laughs> <laughs> uh... Josh... Josh Gad is cringe. That's why he hasn't been on the Bullet Time podcast, by the way, folks. Uh, because oh. I know people have been asking. Oh, he when's, has... when's the Gadinator on there? Uh... Has he has like, has he has like asked you, James, if you can be on the podcast? You say, ah, you know, we were a bit busy. <laughs> And that, that's why it hasn't. That's why it hasn't been back in a while because Gad kept asking to come uh, on here. Uh, sorry, yeah. new pod. Who this? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it, oh no! I it, did that. It, have you have you got this happening on them? Um, it's like a new thing on Discord where people get hacked and then they send the message up. Hi, I'm really sorry to say this, but I accidentally flagged your account as being a bot. Uh, I thought that you were. I'm really sorry about this. Can you give me your details to pass along so I can get your account on what? What the fuck? It, oh, it's, it's really good. Oh. Like, it's oh, like oh, the most it, obvious thing in the world. Of, like, your also, fucking... speaking of bots like that, like if you yeah. have fucking Twitter, turn off those those fucking call things. Oh yeah, yeah. sweet yeah. games. Yeah, they can see things. your IP through it both ways. It's mad. Uh, yeah. Shingoji, we have like a couple of episodes in the bank, but I'm waiting so we got a few more before I start, Royce. Yeah, but it's gonna be like last time. We we can't. We can't do it weekly just because it's too much for everybody. So we're just going to do a big batch of episodes, and then, but then later in the year we'll do a couple more and go from there, basically. Yeah, it's yeah. like seasons. Yeah, well, you know, if you, if like you did want it to be every week, uh, if you can uh, support me over on Patreon, maybe you could. I just I just drop a tweet with like instructions, but basically just oh, put to, to subscribe to James's Patreon. Yeah, just, oh, yeah, yeah, give, no, yeah, yeah. So we give people the link so they can subscribe to my page, yeah. You should have a, you should have a bot so we could just go, James, like, uh, like, exclamation mark, James. So, yeah, no, I should have a bot that says my Patreon in bio. Whoa, what? Ooh, oh, oh, jumped. that'd be good. Alright, yeah, uh, but... I am, oh, I have you. revved up this Molotov. Ugh! Uh, but yeah, no, like, if you genuinely use Twitter, <laughs> just turn that shit off instantly, otherwise people will... <laughs> Wow, a bit, a bit saying adding this to sponsor plug. I'm just also just genuinely amazed that Elon <laughs> is this Whoa, what? bad. Wait, hang on, hang on. I've got, a, I've got a fort. Come on. Oh damn it! I wasn't there in time. Oh, was the idea to knock him off the building? Yeah, I wanted to re. I wanted to catch him jumping and fucking send him as they came along. Too fucking slow. No, not God, enough slow. I, I, I'd, also, I'd also just yeah. master of like, hey, you can just swear in games. Whereas no Sony is just talk. like, mm, if they swear in The Last of Us, one less person might play the game. Yeah. Yeah. Neil Druckmann, so Neil, on, you can have all on. the scientist things you want in uh, Last of Us. Mm, sweet, sweet, Who's mm. jumping? Come on, come on, come on. It was Nay on the uh, thingy yeah, on while we're screaming. Ah, uh, true. Fuck. Oh man, I I'm not gonna get it, am I? Come on, jump, jump, oh, jump! No. You know you want to. Come on, fun Come is on, on this side of the jump. block. Jump, jump! Come on, you're a pussy. Jump! He can't hear you. He can't hear you, Snake. You haven't got the um. You haven't got eye toy plugged in. He can't hear you, Snake. He's fictional. 
I mean, I preferred my one of saying that if if you had the eye so connected, they would be able to hear you. Oh, I dropped another Molotov. See, if I was my, I would if I was Microsoft when the Kinect was out, I would have made that like, I would have enforced every developer to have that, which is if you talk to the game characters, they can react to you. I wanted, I was hoping I would, but I didn't quite get it. You know what game that does that? What? Binary domain. Yeah. And oh, it has yeah. like 900 oh, really? fucking dialogue options. Hey, you should play Binary Domain. Yes. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's, it's on my oh, it's on no. my to-do list. Oh, you, oh, you missed no. your shot. You took your team. When do you, you, when you eventually missed. get all the FPS games done and we get like oh. properly into third person shooters on all the time, we will do Binary Domain. Oh, cool. Hey, the Yakuza guys made a third person shoes there, and it's kind of interesting. <laughs> I'll it's insert myself good. into that podcast. I was gonna say, yeah, that could be the episode you're on, because you played it for snakes. So. I mean, Yo. Were, I think I talked to you about Call of Wars, actually, and that was, that would be Oh, online. yeah! Oh, Gun Song would be fun to do. It is yeah. a game that's tricky like to get the, the good ending in. Yeah. Whoa. I actually got it the last time I replayed oh, it. Oh shit, is the helicopter getting blown but up? You can actually, like, in the final section, kind of grind a bit, which is... Oh no! Oh, oh Jesus! Yeah. Oh, oh no, shit! Oh my god! Uh, that fucking yeah. the medic woman just watching like this is awesome. Yeah. Also, actually, Snake, I actually managed to get the good ending on my first run through Binary Domain. Nice. Yeah. I mean, I guess I just knew exactly what to say. I was snarky, just snarky enough to the British guy. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just laughing just at how the so emulation's trying to... Yeah, it's him strobing above and then behind himself. That's because... a good music video effect, if anybody wants to fiddle with that. Every game yeah. would be binary Okay, everybody, but go, go, go back to Solution, please. But yeah, binary domain is fucking dumb. Da, 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 da. Yo, we should play... Joe Biden should play this game. The oh, it, it, I think that would I think that would kill time. him. <laughs> you know, you get that thing about this would kill a Victorian <laughs> child. This game would kill Joe Biden dead. Just anything on like a burnout level of like intense user interface graphics would kill Joe Biden. He'd be yo, like yo, just yo, he, he would be he, flopping in the chair having a stroke. I mean, Mario Joe Kart is pushing it. Why was it? I mean, my joke is that because he's an old man, he calls it Mario's Kart. <laughs> it cracks me up. Yeah, my... oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Mario had his cart. You know, yeah, I yeah. love playing uh, Mario's cart. Uh, you know, he's a good guy. Yeah, I, I, I love the little fella. The yeah, little he's, fella. He pl apparently he has played yeah. Mario Kart 8 Dollars. Uh, he has. You are a fresh yeah, yeah, automaton. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do, do you think maybe he only played that to get the Irish, or sorry, not 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 Irish. He, you know, he played it to get the Italian American vote. <laughs> and he was playing the saboteur to get the Irish American vote. Oh no, well, he doesn't have to get the Irish American vote because he is Irish American. Well, he, well, well, he's also Catholic, so he already has their vote. Trump yeah, exactly. only he's plays like, one he's, video game. He's and JFK it's the Trump too, video so game. without motive. But he is also oh. full of top tier crank because that's oh, how they shit. keep him fucking away. His head Hell is yeah. also fucking. Also, games, his head is also fucking gone. Man, look at this strobe effect. Hi, oh, Jiggle. Yeah, Hello. Some real caramel dance. Um, Trump, I don't. Trump, I feel like if you gave him a. Like, if you put this Whoa. in front of him, he'd be like, I don't play IDOS games. He oh. makes shit. Oh, oh my I, gosh. Oh, head that's gone, that's head crazy. gone, okay, baby. That's, that's that's definitely a headshot, huh? Yeah, speaking yeah, of well, fucking like, JFK, it, Nick, the other we, thing about Nick, like... while we appreciate your enthusiasm, the headshots are actually really bad. Jesus Christ! <laughs> oh my God! Get the medic in. <laughs> Give him one of the cubes. I'm gonna give you a shot of morphine, okay? Ow! Is Wait. there only the burners as enemies in this game? I, I don't know. I didn't beat this game as a kid. What? Maybe there'll be more. Wait, do you not have a model? Does your character no, not you, have we're a just model? invisible. That's why we're so No, effective. yeah, the only, the only time you see this character is that live-action model. Like, yeah. that's not... Oh. What, is, what is Donald Trump's favorite video? So it's funny, because we Donald watched video game. Um, Transformers Dark of the Moon yesterday, and we forgot that a giant plot point of that film is Trump, <laughs> Trump Towers. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm really? only thinking, what, Jack the only and Marcus game... in this game. Jack and Marcus would have this cleaned up by now. God. 
Trump would go. Trump's Donald favorite game is Doom. It's okay. Well, 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 no, well, no. Like, 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 isn't the whole thing that like Donald Trump wants to blame video games for like violent shootings? Have you, have you yeah. seen the fucking the absolute sickest shit kill montage that he made to be like for banning games? Oh, I, I, I don't know. I, I haven't heard of this. Like, like, like. No, I, 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 I think statements he gave. All right, I'm gonna stop doing I think that. I'm gonna, let, to... I'm gonna I let the I... game decide when's a special headshot. Sure. Uh, yeah, I remember sending this to Snake like years ago when he made yeah. it. Um, from video game montage. Oh, yes. Yes, that's the speaker of transfer. I did show James the fucking clip of uh, Megatron talking about Tom. <laughs> but yeah, the thing is sick. It's like it should be like set to Chemical Brothers music. Wow. Like, but anyways, what, you, what would you, be Trump's favorite video? Yeah, I've what said repeatedly, so... it's the game he made. Oh yeah, 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 yeah I've yeah, been saying it. Donald Trump the video game. Oh yeah, yeah sorry, fucking, yeah, my, he should have made a new one that was just called Donald Trump the video game. All games I... cause violence except for Donald Trump the video game. Actually, no, Cherry. You know what? I reckon Trump might like the Latro. <laughs> oh. Because oh, he owns oh, a lot oh, of casinos, so. and he loves num and he loves when the oh, number true. gets bigger. Number get bigger. God, I am I am now just well, imagining well, 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 I'm not retiring that now that like Matt Pat is out of the game. I'm dead. even bigger. I'm re-energized. <laughs> oh, I should probably. Oop. Oh no, bit 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 of streams. We think we've already told him about this. He's not retiring from making videos anytime soon. Because Tom Scott did, Tom Scott gave up after, I said gave up, Tom Scott called it quits after 10 years, but he's been at it for longer than 10 years, so. Yeah, it's the only way I've beaten Tom Scott. I don't know. Yeah, you, you didn't get uh, mogged by a helicopter, which is pretty good. Well, what if I want that, though? I don't. I don't think you want that. No, I didn't. No, I don't. To be honest, but you know. Yeah, I really do. Yeah, someone's got to make asinine theories about games. I guess I can fill the void. Yeah. Did Matt Pat ever make a so, Yakuza so, so, so. video? Did like I want to? I want to know. No, his game he never theory. did. Despite I, I, I feel like Yakuza was never popular enough with his audience. Yeah. For him to no, do. he could have made it that state. way. He never. He um, never fucking cooks you. Meanwhile, he stole my Doom Warrior wife. So I'm. <laughs> Oh, you're uh, you're fucked. Yeah, he's he taking that me. with him now. He's retired, so he's walked away with the term. He genuinely he, did. He hasn't made a cookies bustle theory. Ooh, That's so. true. Yeah. And now he, he did, never he, will. He did, he did manage to make a broke likes video before you did the share. Oh. Yeah, that, okay, he I also made a video about Trauma. Wow. Yeah, that's true, colorful pink. There are no oh. theories about Yakuza. What you see is what you get. There is one theory yep. about Yakuza. Oh. Got our is the theory that it's not very good? Hey, hey, so that's hey, a question. No one, one, no one thinks that. See, but no, there was the a, there's like that... one video I found, which, oh Christ, it's a super old video, and it's a guy who retired, but he used to be part of Machinima. He made like a it, finding the plot was his series. And it's usually just like thematic breakdowns of the games. And his video annoyed me because it was super fucking, you know, that guy with the glasses tier, like fucking theory crafting. Because his fit, it was about Yakuza 4 and just opens to his spiel about like the stories of these games are pretty simple and don't really need any further elaboration. They're about, it <laughs> didn't say about, and I was just watching, I was seething, I was seething. But he's, it turns into this thing about how actually. Yakuza is a Groundhog Day loop until the characters get powerful enough to defeat the Amon clan. And I was like, what? this is the most asinine shit I've ever heard. Yeah, that, that, that is like fucking, oh, Angelica was dead the whole time. Yeah. Kind of like fucking Ash Ketchum is in a coma. Actually, Pokemon is set in a post-nuclear apocalypse. Like, like okay. think about how time sensitive yeah. the plots are, but your characters can go on dates and finish all these sub stories, and every time you lose a fight, it'll reset so you can do it again. It's like, man, I'm I'm way more annoyed by this than I should be because it's a perfectly innocent video. And this every guy's game. dead in the ground, yeah. We don't. Have well, to I mean, he's retired from the game. 
You know, this makes me think. There's no Groundhog Day. Groundhog um, Day. Um, sweet, that actually is a Groundhog you know, Day. I'll give the guy game. some credit. He was is doing Yakuza 4, not one mention of rubber bullets, is like, positive or negative. No, so here's the thing, sweet. It's a VR game, and it is presented as a sequel to Groundhog Day, where you play as Bill Murray's son. Oh, oh my god. Big and Murray. Oh, yeah, and the that old came out. Big and Murray, that, yeah. That fucking, I forgot about that. That was a good and the only character that they were able to get back was Ned the Head Bryson. Oh, the big Flintstones theory I've heard is that they're on the ground in the Jetsons. Yeah, and yeah. the Jetsons are in the sky. Yeah. Oh, I'm reminded of that fucking beautiful image. What's down there? Fuck those rich assholes with their sky high <laughs> houses. Yeah, no, any, any like, theory craft where it's just like they were dead the whole time is like. Throw that in the bin. Well, and it always writing. just raises the question as well. It's like, okay, but how does that fundamentally yeah. like change the does media? That, does that like, affect like, your? Like, like, what's, does what's, that affect what's anything away? about the consumption of the media? I, I, do you know what it was that like created this entire cottage industry? Was that there was a fucking cracked article about it, which was all Pixar films take place in the same universe, and they were just oh. like, and it was literally because of the fact that in Pixar films they put a little teaser to the next film in like whatever film like in the incredible well, well, well they had like the uh like the pizza uh yeah and the pizza planet truck right. appears in multiple films as well which uh and then like a113 is yeah the but then a, but a a113 appears in a bunch of stuff because that's a uh that was the animation room at cal arts that they all right at, so um but no like so in like find like the fish from finding nemo appear in like the incredibles or something and then like a lot of the, so um, this the is ball. people seeing a reference, which is like a little Easter egg, and just yeah, they're just little models. cute yeah. Easter eggs. To what the next film's gonna be? But then like this fucking crack right was like, oh, well, actually, what this proves is that uh, you know it's a cyclical loop, and actually the cars from Cars are the end of time. Yeah, because because <laughs> all the humans are dead, and the cars have got sentience. And it's like, oh, dude. Yeah, well, and and then people were like trying to like tie this to like the toys as like okay there's like machines oh yeah oh. like like the toys and toy story are a form of ai or something. lightning mcqueen is actually a descendant yeah. of wally can we create a few more asinine theories we just uh, yeah. well, well, well well i think like you know the whole thing was like Boo the monsters was the from monsters from, inc were uh, actually like, yeah that's right uh, she's the... well because well, well, like that was like the whole linchpin was that like the brave witch was like Cars it was the little character. girl from Monsters Inc. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the Cars, the Cars movie takes place in the same universe as that Stephen King horror truck thing. Oh, um, well, this, well, actually, well, that's um, a I, sequel. Oh, I, I, no, I'm thinking of the Stephen Car, um, the Stephen King Car uh, movie in uh, Christine, but yeah, Ow. Maximum Overdrive, which has the best trailer. If uh, no one's ever seen the trailer to Maximum Overdrive, where was that Stephen film King absolutely. The... Sorry. Sorry, go ahead. Was that film about the tire that could pop people's heads any good? Oh, that's rubber. Um, no, it's not. Um, uh, it's. I imagine. Well, I... well, Snake, I'll just explain to you like this. Is it? It was a film directed by a French music video director. So. Ah. Is yes. exactly what you think it is. It has the problem that all French films have, where there's a scene of a woman smoking a cigarette with no clothes on, and it has the music video problem of there's no plot. Has the, the French film problem of there are French people in it, and they say hon hon hon. Actually, that's a that's but a good it... thing they do. Yeah. yeah. Okay, come on, let's go, let's run. We've got a minute on the clock, buddy. It's really annoying because I I once said as a joke that all French films, you, you know, you watch a French film because there's always a, a random scene of a naked woman smoking a cigarette, and I watched Anatomy of of the Fall of a Fall, which is up for an Oscar. And that also just has a random scene of a naked woman smoking a cigarette in it. And I'm like, I can't yeah, believe I'm so the French, right. They know what the people time. like. Yeah. M make that a film theory. Like, hey, but you isn't, hey, we're not French, French racism because the French aren't hey, a race. Refer to my, uh, refer to my banner. If you want to. What? What? Um, apologies to Paris. Uh, Nothing, Nothing against France. Nothing against France. Nothing against France. Um, it's very fun to play in Age of Empires 4. Do you know what's... Um, Plus do you know owning how you know, their place like, the, the, at the table of reality. Just to put an end to the They're theory crafting thing, They're very good in Civ 5 though, as well. You, you know that theory crafting is bad because um, American Dad actually made it canon and no one cared. <laughs> Basically, um, there's... 
there's an episode of American Dad where like Anne dies and gets sent back to Earth, and then basically everything after that was actually canon to him of that happening, and no one cares. <laughs> God, but there was a thing that I was gonna. That I was gonna say. I mean, like. Oh, oh, there was there was something I was. Gonna God, say I didn't get the gang leader in this one. That's actually a thing. I got a be. I got a. I gotta stun people until I get the gang leader. But the last VR nut this thing I had was Channel like a VR News. video that I just got like free lines into. This is Lanny York for Channel 7 News. Downtown you know, the news um, yeah, the, um, and the Sorry, the... Uh, the... The, the Groundhog Day video game is made by the guys who did the sexy brutale. Huh. I have not yet if it's good or not, oh. though. The fucking and that's news ticker that, like, in this, it keeps moving an hour attention. each time, so I like to think this is just happening over the course of several hours. Gabe Peeps! That, that, that is, that's a fucking tabletop name, Gabe Peeps. Has foreign military connections. Sources tell us the FBI is beginning a full investigation into Wolf's past. <laughs> Fun Disney fact, if you look closely at the movie Toy Story, you can see the toys moving. This is a clever reference to the movie <laughs> <in> Toy Story <laughs> 2. Do you think Toy Story 2 takes place in the Toy Story universe? Yeah, because mm, it's actually, yeah. the name is a pun because it, because it could also sound for Toy Story as well. Oh, okay. Because it's also a Toy Story. And then despite being called Toy Story 3, I had to pay to get in. Yeah. Oh, 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 there was a theory I was watching yesterday about Counter-Strike and Left 4 Dead taking place in the same universe? <laughs> oh, I think that's what I was gonna say, is that, like, yeah, everybody says now that everything takes place in the same universe if it has a reference in it. I mean, the yeah. ultimate one of that is, um, isn't in it, like, St. Elsewhere, a, where... References. It, didn't it turn out that St. Elsewhere was, like, it was all the dream of an autistic boy with a, um, snow globe? The St. Yeah, Elsewhere well, actually crossed over with a ton of different, uh, TD shows. Well, like, I remember today that these photos would be AI theory. genned. This is why yesterday it was better than today. Oh, that's what I was going to say, because we were talking about the Stephen King car movie, and then I mentioned Maximum Overdrive. Swede, you've seen the trailer to Maximum Overdrive, right? Yes, a while back. Where yeah. it is, basically, it's Stephen King at his most gacked up. Oh, yeah, he's like pinnels in the snow, basically going, a lot of people have made movies about my bugs, but I've realized... If you want something done right, you gotta do it yourself. You know, I don't the movie think is Burn about Nero's Deli. Do it. I, 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 yeah, why Nero's Deli. Why Nero's Deli? Like, I thought Italian... everyone hated Nero. Because <laughs> maybe that's why, I guess. Honey, this ATM called me an asshole. Yeah, you know, like, like, like Nero's most famous for like, you know, supposedly fiddling during like the burning of Rome. Of course, like, I, I don't think that's... Well, well many well, YouTubers, they're most famous yeah. for the fiddling kids. Well, I was gonna say, yeah, when you said fiddling, I forgot that you meant, I, like... I heard that fiddle. snicker and I knew what had just gone through your yeah. fucking brain. You know, you know what really famous is for, me, for, for squeezing his bud during the burning of Rome. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a very different story nowadays. Oh, no. whoops. Oh, no! Oh, no. Oh, yeah. no. Friend, friend I wouldn't call them a friend. They're an acquaintance. A work colleague, maybe. Well, maybe as these others go on, it upgrades from, like, friend die to, like, acquaintance die to girlfriend die. <laughs> An acquaintance is higher than a friend? I don't know. <laughs> All hell is loose out there. We gotta go save the medic. Come on. We gotta... Hang on, I've got a test. Hey, oh, I'm JFK! Oh. Oh, shit. Unauthorized. I wanted force. to see if I would get the ragdoll slow motion if I headshotted a cop. Well, maybe he just didn't headshot him hard enough. <laughs> maybe I can headshot That's him true. more. Yeah, maybe it's like you know, your 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 first bullet is a warning. It's a warning shot, yeah. But then. <laughs> yeah. Restart mission. I'm walking so, in. So, so, so he's gonna start a new channel called the Yay Cap Gamer, where he sees if he can get away with shooting cops and games and never let him do it. Yo, every, yo, yo, every I game. There's a lot of 30 second videos where the game goes. That could be a point, cup, yeah. Game over. yeah. They might all yo, be yo, yo. slow mo by default. Yeah, so, so I was reading. Yeah, Warren this Davis's guy gave me my book. objective. I should have paid it. Um, 
you know, and he's like the guy who made Qbert, but he also worked on the, uh, oh shoot, uh, the uh, Terminator 2 video game. Oh yes. And apparently, like, so like they had a magazine come in, and do an interview. All right, just do, just use. And they that thought that like it was cover. just gonna be like normal promotion, but actually yeah. they were like setting up a hit piece where it was like, t look at the violence in video games. This lets you shoot cops, and that's really bad. Bad um, and like. Yo, that was, that was kind of like the whole point of the piece, uh, was that uh, they were upset that you could shoot top cops and Terminator well, and they, 2. And they threw the cubic guy under the bus for that. Yeah. Well, yeah. like, like they, you know, they threw the staff in general under the bus. Because I was going to say, yeah. the T2 game was uh, Williams, right? Uh, yes, that would be Williams. Because uh, they see, also did. Lives. You know, it's a bit too built up for that. Because I think I, I tried finding this for Snake when he made his NARC video, but like... The original arcade version of Narc was slightly made as like a tongue-in-cheek thing, but uh, Eugene Darvis was like interviewed about it, and he was like, "Yeah, like I like a lot of my friends and family, like I've lost them to like drug-related crimes or like drugs in general." But I still want to have a little bit of tongue-in-cheek fun with he this kind game. Of, I, in a, in one of his interviews, he's very much like on the side of like. It, I don't want to say what my political beliefs are on this because I think it's more interesting to just let people discuss it. Yeah. Yeah. There um, is everybody. No, like, he didn't want to. He didn't want to lay down like any euphoria. Like this is um, absolutely where it I would have. Yeah, because I think Narc was like a really big hit for Williams, and like that was the game that they tested a bunch of their um, like digitization stuff on before like Mortal yes. Kombat. Yes. Well, well. So, so you want to know who wrote all that digitization software? Was it the guy who invented Davis? Um, yeah, well, he's like responsible oh. for like writing a lot of the software that they used to uh, actually digitize software. Um, you know, which is kind of wild considering just how big that became for Williams as they went along. Well, it, yeah, because, it like, became my calling card pretty much. Yeah, well, you know, because like it showed up in NARC, uh, mm -hmm. NBA Jam, uh, Mortal um, Kombat, uh, Revolution X. Um, yeah, you know, because like, like some of those games are attributed to Midway, but that's just because Williams bought Midway and decided to use their name instead. Yes, uh, but it was functionally still Williams. Uh, yeah. They just didn't call themselves Williams anymore. No, they changed their um, name to Midway in like the late nineties, didn't they? Yeah, I was gonna say because Williams was also um, that was Atari Games, right? Uh, I don't think so. Uh, oh no, I mean, like, it was when, no, mid, that's what became Midway, and then Midway got bought by Williams, so. I think it was like Bally. Oh boy, there's uh, a lot like, of you. you know, Williams had bought Bally, or, you know, you know, somehow, like, Williams had access to both the Bally and Midway names. Um. They don't stand in front of me. <laughs> So that's a bit rude, mute. And now we were just saying the ones that like Williams had worked. So. I think he's, I think he's goofing. Oh, jeez. Mm. Oh. In, in the book, so Davis just moment. says, like, I know that it's technically called, uh, you know, midway. That was not. Point, that was. Not but I'm just going to continue to call it Williams because that's pretty much what it was. Yeah. I think yeah, she should um, read the fucking Hippocratic Oath first. Do no harm because she harmed the run. Yeah. Ooh. This game is mean on the bloody, um, on the checkpoint. Lisa thing. Levels, yeah. Oh, hell, oh, hell is breaking loose out there. Come on. We've got to save the medic, as opposed to, like, everyone else. All right, nah, the medic's most important, because she can save the everyone else. The weird thing as well is that the medic looks a little bit like Dr. Young from our. Oh, Island. that's rude. Don't go there. wonder if they might have reused them all. I'm trying to resist the urge for the slow mo headshots. That's fair enough. It's not worth it. It's not worth resisting. Man, 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 this really is like one of those things that, like, once you. Oh my it, god! Oh fuck! Changes. Shit. Shit. I took my eyes off her for. Hey, I need to get back to work. Can, you, can I. Hey, can, hey, can you go back to normal speed, please? Thank you. <laughs> Sorry about the bug shot. Sorry about not doing a very good job self? defending you. Oh, she's fucked up. Yeah, but did you see all those sick kills I got? Are they calling me by name now? Do they know me? 
Yeah, because obviously you're, you're, fucking, you're a fucking sick dude. Yeah, fucking yeah you're, Nick, you're Nicholas Angel. I'm Headshot King. Headshot Harry, that's you. Oh! Through the Molotov. I was gonna say I thought you I thought you shot the Molotov in midair, which I did. It went through the Molotov and took his head oh, nice. off. Everyone knows Nick Mates. Don't always. It, like yeah, the, yeah. The first newscast specifically outs your name. They doxed you. Yeah, over on, uh... I've been doxed. They know yeah, my that kill is true. There is a lot of uh, video game protagonists called Mason. Um, Mason. Black Ops One. I, I um, noticed a thing when I was working on the Narc video. A lot of black protagonists are named Marcus. Huh. Mar Marcus is, yeah, it's just yeah. like a classic black like, guy name, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, you had, um, you know, you had it in NARC, you had it in fucking Watch Dogs 2, and in, um, that might have been the gang leader. Um, um also, um, uh, fucking Mass Effect 2, the black guy in that's called Marcus. <laughs> God, even in the future. Yeah, they were. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying, God, I had another example, and I'm totally blanking. So... It's funny because my, my oh, brother... Oh, um, True Crime New York. Oh, yeah. Do you a think a lot of um, video game protagonists being called Mason is a secret, like, Masonic kind of, like, indoctrination? <laughs> I'll have to ask my friend who works at the Masons. Oh, yeah, that's true. You know, you know a guy who's oh, yeah. the IT guy for the Masons, which I just find really funny. I mean, we I, when you were in London, I, we were drinking with a bunch of them. Oh yeah, no, and they were getting upset. They were getting concerned by the amount of questions I was asking about the, the Masons, just because I find the Masons really interesting. It is funny though, because they are genuinely just IT guys. They don't know, like, oh, no, they are not like too. in the family. <laughs> Alec Mason. Yeah, uh, yeah, Alec Mason from um, Prototype. Mason, Mason. No, that's Mercer. Mason, yeah. Alec Mason is Red Faction. Oh, sorry, yeah. Oh yeah, it is Red Faction. Mason, Jason. And Red Faction it kind of makes sense as well because he's the uh, he is a he Mason. Stuff. He's a well, he's, yeah, he's, he's smashing. Oh, he's flat. not a Mason. Oh, this oh, guy. Thank you, thank you. You make iframes. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh Sorry, yeah, Harry I, Mason I and, um, and, um, and his daughter in fucking Silent Hill. And Silent Hill famously is a game about cults. Why, why do you think Mason is just so popular? Is it because like it's again, like, sweet, I'm I'm, yeah, leaning, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm starting to think it might be a Masonic um like indoctrination. No, I'm, think, I'm thinking it's just something that sounds. God, short, can you imagine well, like, gonna... someone being born with the name Mason and they're thinking, well, thanks to determinism, I either have to join the cult or work with Stone. That was my also, option. it's kind of because, like, when you think about it, a video game protagonist is like a child you take care of. They go, my son. It kind of sounds like an action hero name. My action. son, Mason. My son, yeah, Mason. Yeah, you know, like, 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 Mason is just one of those, like, generic American names that you can kind of just throw out, and it's like... And I was going to yeah. say, because, uh, cause, like, usually you just give a protagonist, Ow. like, a kind of a hard name, like, Hunter, or, like, Jaeger, or something. Like, what's... What? Oh, fucking John Matrix and Commando. It's like... I always think of, like, surnames like that, like... Is, you know, a lot of surnames in, um, like, before... Uh oh You know, in the medieval age was kind of what your profession was. And then they Mason changed works. a lot of that when you had a lot of, like... When they changed... It, when you moved away from, like, serfdom, and basically you could pay for having, like... A couple of, you, you could just pay people instead of yeah, oh, like shit. having them under your rule. And so you'd have a lot of you'd have a lot of like John Coopers. So like people would just start changing their surname because of that. It's funny. I watched a video from the BBC archives the other day about like um Welsh Welsh um, iron workers who moved to America to set up the factories there, and mm -hmm. they just took the nicknames of the factories they worked at in some cases, and then just yeah. had that as the nickname in America, which is very weird. Why there's a lot of Welsh Correct. people in like um, the Midwest? I guess they all went up to. I mean, I, I mean it makes sense. The there's kind of like a lot of that. like European settlers. In Mostly the because it was a lot of, as Snake was saying, a lot of like ironworks and stuff, but also a lot of miners. They don't mean children. Right. Although they were probably sent down they the mines as well. They probably had some children with them, so they had miners and miners. Miners, miners, and miners, miners. The miners of miners. Miners and, and miners. miners. And also miners that were miners. And then those who made a lot of money who were miners with the Midas Touch, and possibly miners. You know, Team Reader has like an actual Midas Touch in it, and it's really funny. It's just like, oh yeah, you just didn't. What's their take on the trope? 
The, the check on the chef is that you've hit such mice as I need to end to go. Uh oh. This is one of the ways you can kill Lara Craft. It's like, that's funny. That's good. Shoot him! I shot him more it than is once. A Yeah, it is a shame with the hostage stuff is that you can't take him down in one hit. Yeah. Oh, you can bonk the hostage taker. I can? Going to Conklet. Oh, I got too close. Nope, never mind. <laughs> well. God, that guy's head fucking exploded. That's amazing. Huh. Ooh. Ooh, I dropped two cleavers. Gee, Bill, how come your mom lets you have two cleavers? <laughs> I think it was... Oh, I was asking. Oh, I, well, Conklet <laughs> well, said I, I don't we, know if you I think we just had an educational moment. Save me. Ow. I'd be angry enough to, or embittered enough. And Warner Brothers should have let um, Rocksteady remake this. I'll make a new version of this then for the size squad. I mean, I mean, does this even need remade? Just needs re-releasing. Well, no, like, that's what I mean. I like rather than being remade, just make a new one of these. You go to different cities. We respond there's to new so gangs. many riots. Yeah, there's gangs all over the place. Ooh. Yeah, that's the problem. Warner Brothers only want to make money. Mm -hmm. They're in the money business. Oh, they that's the thing. He fakes me out by going for the Molotov sometimes. Shoot him. Ron, it's not much of a fake out when it, some guy does say, shoot him. Oh, Ooh. is he going to fall over? Yeah. Oh, for good. Unauthorized force? What uh, do you mean, unauthorized? Oh, shit! Did he get fucking bladed? Yeah, he did. He got fucking cut up in the uh, rotor blade. Man, <laughs> talk you... about cruel and excessive punishment, am I this, right? This game's great. Talk oh, about low budget that flights. That would actually work no in real movies. life, but they never oh, tried that. Talk on. about oh, talk about brutality! Okay, never mind. This is, this is a bullet time game. There is hey, a oh, helicopter oh, turret oh, thing. Oh, <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I can. <laughs> <laughs> Man, oh, yeah, this video is yeah. great. Oh, get pops! Uh, yeah, that is just th this would. This is gonna have to be the center of the bullet time bingo board. Is just helicopter. <laughs> yeah, this is more All of these games have helicopters. No, and I mean, I'm not complaining because they're usually oh. pretty good. Oh, never mind. Oh, I died. Yeah, okay, yo, 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 even I, I believe, uh, oh, fuck. Boiling got... Point, it has a helicopter section, technically. I probably wow. I'm not gonna slow mo everyone because I just keep them spinning. Yeah, but it was really fucking cool. Like, that one guy t got turned on fire. And everyone, and like the one who got flung across the roof. Ow. You're mine, bitch. Oh, I... Unfortunately, they don't know how to use ladders. Well, the thing is as well, I... You want to get... <laughs> oh, no, do you mind if I go get healed again? Yeah, hang on. I'm, I swear I'm you not using this up. stuff. I'm just really bad at the game. Help me up. <laughs> I just love the fact that it has a what was an upper third hostage situation like you are on like a news program. Live. Live well, from the from the police body cam. Well there is that one game where it's like all based on like police body cam. Yeah, footage, Tom, right? Tom, we talked about Tom Clark here when we uh, covered Second Sight. He's, he's, I can't remember the last thing I've heard him in. Because he plays the um, sergeant in second voice. fight, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. Oh, and he's also Cortez. Yeah. Meanwhile, the guy who played the main character in um, Second Sight was like an animator who then went back to the work in animation. Yeah, that's the weirdest thing. It's like his one voice acting credit, and I'd say he does a really fucking good job. Yeah, Tom Clark Kill's voice is just great, though. It has that, like, slight level of irony to it, which you just kind of, like, need for a role like this. 
Get yeah, this busy. fucker revved. I couldn't resist. Holy shit. He's just uh, watching like, that's like, the sickest uh, shit. There's a bunch of like FPS. Um, oh, thank you, uh, Sister Blado. Oh, thank you very much. Prime. Um, there's FPS stories in the chat. Is Sin like one of the first games to begin with like a helicopter turret section? Hey, it's the first I can, it's the earliest I can recall. Yeah. Doesn't Right to Hell start with a turret section? Yeah, but Right to Hell came out in like what, 2007? Oh. And also, I mean, you're you're not a helicopter on a helicopter in that you just you're just <laughs> guarding. That sequence never comes up in the game, by the way. <laughs> I feel like Sin was because I because I remember people like in the early days of like FPS games on the PC being like, "There's three kings, there's Quake, there's Half Life, and there's Sin." Sin is no, like yeah. one because of those games Nero... that no one talks about anymore. But... Yeah, no, like like, like hope, Sin is I... really weird. Like, I, you know, I, I, I didn't need, I never heard anyone talk about it until Ross Rides Scott hell, free talked dates about it. Stream. But, but like, um... episodes <laughs> of Sin is just... Yeah, Sin episodes, people were excited for it. <laughs> what the hell happened to that out. guy? Oh my god, that one guy is on fire. <laughs> you you know what, like... like, this would be fun to, like, edit, like, like a like in a music video or something to just all these kill shots. <laughs> this is making this section would be, have been over so long ago if I didn't do this. Like you could cut like a like you could cut like an ode to joy montage with all these guys <laughs> Holy getting shit. blown away. Oh, he's about to throw that in the wrong direction. Is yeah, Sin had like a bunch of sort of. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> like Duke Nukem-y stuff to French, it. French. Oh shit, man. <laughs> Get out of the way! <laughs> Get out of here! Oh, Jesus. Into Boink. the car. Oh, he goes through the car! Yeah. Oh, and he gets boofed. Is it, you know, I'm gonna have a look. How well did this game actually do? Oh my god, guys. this fucking game! You know, it's kind of getting excessive, but it's just got to keep going at a certain point. And there's another one coming. You have to commit to the bit, like... I feel, I feel this is something that would be playing <laughs> oh, no. like, a death, like a Death Wish movie or something. Michael Bay wishes he could have a scene like this. <laughs> so I had a look, and on VG charts, it reckons that this game only sold, like... Like, 60,000 copies. That seems incorrect. <laughs> That can't be right, I, no. How could- how, why didn't this game sell 6 million copies? Hey, this game they made sold 60,000 copies, so let's give them the Batman license. Actually, I guess considering how crap Batman games were up to that point. Yeah, and I, think that, I think that was partially a thing. I yeah, video we, we someone, I was watching a video on someone going over the Batman Begins game. Oh, oh yeah, Minimi made a video about it and it looked pretty good. The I game mean, like, video. It, it didn't look that good. No, um, it looked pretty good. It the looked game game like graphically. The game. Awesome. Graphically, yeah. it looked okay. Oh, it looked I think like, like, Urban like, like, Chaos how, directed how by Zack it? Snyder. The gameplay sounded tedious. The only cool Michael Bay bit I saw oh, was the film where this came was out made to make everyone the go flying pretty much. I'm trying to remember what Michael Bay film that is. And Actually, yeah, Jake Gillum does make a point with that. He's like, this is... It's post, you know, late PS2, so people were kind of leaving the console. Granted, it was still. Yeah, no, we we said, Gillum, this is, uh, yep. Yeah, but he's Rocks saying Denny's like it having project. low, you know, in context of it having low sales figures. <laughs> oh no, and like I said, like I'm sure Ados didn't mind too much because this was one of 15 games that came out that uh, year, from them. one of which was a Tomb Raider game, which would have been a guarantee. All right, get ready for this, way. fucker. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, Ooh. Well, no, 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 no. See if this was uh, profitable for them, which I'm sure it was. But uh, let's check. I, I only wanted to have the last one. It wasn't about ruining the bit. It was about emphasizing the power of the final kill. Oh, snake! What if you get a rocket launcher and you can slow boy? Oh Jesus oh, Christ! God. 
I didn't kill the. I didn't incapacitate the gang leader, so I'm not going to get the bonus mission, which the bonus mission gets me more guns. Mm. That is a. Well, maybe the. Maybe there's still time. Let me see. There's still objectives. Okay, maybe I still got a chance at arresting the gang leader. I gotta pay attention though. Mason, what the fuck is going on over there? Oh, okay, that might be the gang leader because he's got a rocket launcher. Can my shield protect me against that? Only one way to find out. Yeah. Only one way to find out. Did you see what happened? This officer I was there. The guy who did it went down into the sewer. I'll be okay till back at the Oh, it's a sewer it's section. Whoever is responsible. Oh, this level goes, huh? Yeah. No Actually, no, I really don't know. It's fine. Damn it. It teleported into my hand. I didn't have I Oh, she carries three of those. Moment of silence. I don't mean to laugh. If it, it, it feels bad to laugh at that, it's just <laughs> he was our friend. He let he let us okay. get all those sick. Yeah, games. no, I ran I ran the numbers on that. Yeah, this probably was a pretty decent little payday for IDOS. So never mind. Because this this game, I had a quick look over here. This game was only made by thirty people. So pretty oh, good. Gosh. God, in the not, days not when bad. a thirty man team. It, it, it was it was made by thirty people in a year. In a year, that's thirty people good. in a year. Like the 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 company was founded in December two thousand and four, and this game came out like right at the beginning oh, of two thousand and six. Spe speaking of Judge oh. Dread versus Death, that is another bullet time episode. I'm. Oh yeah, no, we're, we're yeah, like, snakes on the yeah, docket for that. I'm, it's that Punisher and this. So I'm on this weird little extra. Yeah, you're you're violence. on the pl you're on the police brutality um hut. Yeah. <laughs> And yeah, no, it's it is one of those weird things where like um, Gotham Knights and you know Suicide Squad is gonna be their final thing. I think hopefully their legacy oh, will lean more towards those fucking guys did the early Batman games and fucking. Yeah, games. no, I think it is. But I mean, like, again, yeah. after after seeing this a little bit further in, it is a shame like they never really got a chance to make anything else. But they were really good at Batman games. Yeah. Yeah, I'm yeah, no, so I got, yeah, Gotham Knights was um, uh, Warner Brothers Montreal. But... Yeah, exactly. I was going to say. Oh, but Gotham Knights yeah, no, wasn't not, made by Rocksteady. Never mind. No, no. You're, you're thinking of Arkham Knight. But, yeah, I, was but, thinking but, of, I was thinking of Gotham Knights. Yeah, no, okay. So, what who made Gotham, Gotham Knights? So, Go so, Gotham Knights was made by the studio that did Arkham Origins. Oh, okay. It is, it is weird. From what I remember seeing from Gotham Knights, like, it's way more in line of the actual Arkham games than Suicide Yeah, well, I mean, it. sweetie, watch me play it, and, like, Arkham... See, the thing was, was that Gotham Knights was kind of boring, but not as bad as Suicide Squad. Man, maybe one day when it goes, uh, like, It doesn't really say deep. much, I'm just not really tuned into Rocksteady anymore. I didn't follow yeah. that game at all. That's fair. Yeah, I'm no, I, Rocksteady have only made, like... Five games, like overall, they made this. They made Batman Arkham Asylum, Batman Arkham City, Batman Arkham Knight, and then Suicide Squad. But they then also did do a VR Batman experience. Yeah. So. Well, and well, to be fair, like, you know, the games that they made were then hugely influential on a ton of other people. Yeah. Oh, Christ! Uh, yeah, like how many yeah. games took Arkham Asylum's combat, like or, yeah, exactly. or, or Detective that Vision? Yeah, you know, it's like. Shadow of Mordor. Oh wait, this is the way. Oh, yeah, the yeah. one that comes to mind, like. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, exactly. But no, um, but yeah, I'm gonna miss Rocksteady because, like, I mean, I'm. It's kind not of that they're gone yet, by the way. No, this is not that's a haze that's the like. Feeling. This is like, not a haze the, like. This is a good like the, game like. Like they're, they're getting, getting out like one season password for the Suicide Squad stuff, maybe, and then. They're shuttering that fucking uh, studio. Arkham, even up to Arkham Knight, it still felt like it kind of had the sort of IDOS magic of just, like, these very sort of closed, like, oh. pretty big mechanics that kind of tie together combat and platform sort of juice kind of adventure games where there's, like, no adventure game DNA at all in Suicide Squad. Oh, it's, yeah, no, like, it's a generic fucking... It's an, it's, yeah, it's, it's just Borderlands. Yeah, no, it's kind of like Crackdown, but shit. 
Oh, yeah, no, I mean, you look at the loot progression in that game. I mean, it's a bad. Oh, yeah, no, it's a bad loot I'm... game. It's a fucking. Oh, yeah, no, I mean, I, yeah, it's. Um, <laughs> oh, no. It's, okay, it's a wolf. Yeah, it's, crack, it's, it's, it's Crackdown 2, or as I like to call it, Crackdown 2. But yeah, no, and also, like, the actual stats and stuff are really fucking boring. Yeah, I mean, Tuja had a look at it and he was like, there's some interesting synergies here, but, like. Yeah, no, but it's all what? basically. It's all basically just. Your combo goes higher and you do more damage. I mean, that's the problem about the kind of in um, Flora Lion. Apologies if I don't pronounce your uh, name correctly, but we can't really have a crash because games are making too much money. So it's more, yeah, like, no, a, it's, it's, it's more like a yeah. game's recession that we're in. Gold Mask yeah, is gang leader. Recession, did I, did I yeah. kill the gang leader? You know, it, 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 it's just sort that of like sense. a lean time for the actual people making the games, but like. Mm. Enough of these things are making okay. a bunch of oh. money. Yeah. They're just you know what? I'm gonna guess that's it. probably uh, a gang leader. Yep. Like, I've got to be honest. Anyone who says this is <laughs> like gonna be oh, legal special a bit too alarmist. Because what is what it's gonna be is more consolidation of everything. Like, a lot of studios uh, are gonna shudder, but it's more gonna be like a consider constant. What did I just say? Boom. When you. Boom. Consolidation. Oh, it's a consolidation. Yeah. Consolidation. Yeah. There's, Actually, there's no point. I'm the not reason that the games this. crash happened is because they ran out of money, and games yeah. like haven't ran out of money. If anything, and they also, like, do more. And, then, and also, oh, oh yeah, because consumers. It was specifically just North America because it was kind of just. Oh yeah, no, it didn't affect Europe yeah. or Japan. Well, well, yeah. one, there's also like a thing like 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 part of the reason why the arcade crash happened was literally just kind of the constraints of space, where yeah. so many people were following in the footsteps of like, yo, Pac-Man, and all mm. these other like, oh fuck, popular arcade games. Mm -hmm. and, it just like, ended up with a bit of a brain drain of like everyone well, doing the same thing. Well, it's just like yo, arcade operators could only have so many machines in their establishments. Yeah, and exactly. when you have like everyone pumping out tons and tons and tons of these games, yo, this just uh, yo. Oh, you can tank rockets with your shield apparently going to the mutant. <laughs> Man, the shield is great. Oh, it's the most, the most powerful shield. It's that guy's not the gang. That guy, no. Oh, <gasps> oh my god, he's coming. I wanted oh. to use your stun gun on. Oh, never mind, he dropped it. But yeah, the, like, people talk about like the video game scratch like it was a bit bigger thing, but it was literally just Atari, and it was because they printed and too many. Like copies. Well, it's they like printed too many kind of, copies of American ET. games do kind of control the narrative, so it's like in America they crash, yeah, whereas like exactly. yeah. Europe yeah. was doing Europe and Japan what, were doing fine. Yeah, Europe had uh, better. Also, coding. like PC games, you know, they're, they're yeah. kind of off doing. And well. as we you know, has pointed out, it literally only lasted like ten months because then the NES came out of, like mm -hmm. immediately afterwards. And the NES also, like, what happened was Nintendo just kind of snuck in as a toy, but also they kind of had that seal of quality, so they kind of, like, you know, a lot of NES games were a fucking trick, but, you know, they gave... But the seal of quality was a good advertising measure. Mm -hmm. okay, Mason. Uh, but yeah, I was no, saying the other okay, day, I posted an interview, I, 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 I found seen... something I found really funny, history-wise, was I've been watching uh, Game Center CX, and I was watching an episode from 2005 about um, Super Mario Brothers, and they do this little segment on the history of Nintendo hardware, and it all gives a factoid about every console. Like, this console could do this, this console could do this. And they vote, like, the one they gave the GameCube was, it is strictly a game console. Mm -hmm. And why that was wow. so funny to me was, like, the Virtual Boy was like, this is the only console that can do 3D in your home. It was like, so, the, the Game Boy yeah. Advance was, it has 32,000 colors. Like, they had shit all to say about the GameCube. That was really, yeah. the, the, you know, they're, they're gonna complicate the Game Boy Advance for having like 30 some thousand colors, but they can't come up with anything for the GameCube. Like, like, even the, you can, you even can, the, like the Nintendo 64, I think, was like, you know, this was the first 64-bit console on the market. GameCube was technically the first 3D console, as a, like, 3D... Oh, no, not, no, no, wrong, actually. Yeah, like, like, like wasn't it being to of, market um, by the PlayStation? A lot of people have already left the no, no, industry, no. not entirely. No, no, no. Yeah, so, like, to sort of respond to this, it's a bit bit is, like, I know that, like, that guy said that, is that... Be so basically, they were expecting a big bounce from COVID that didn't happen, but that's why they did all the firing because they still 
fucking Microsoft posted record profits. Like, yeah, no, like, like, that's and, also, and it's also you get a lot of money from um, Saudi Arabia at this point because there's a lot of money trying to diversify because you oil is kind of running. Uh -huh. So. Mm -hmm. Um, this is why Embrace are fucked up. Because but no, so years. what we're seeing instead is like a massive brain drain, which is probably mostly that's going to result in just a lot of, just we're going to get some bad games for a while, which is a, yeah. Yeah. yeah, which like um, it's fine because there's so American. much backlog. The like, Wii U, it's a console. They wouldn't even think this is the first game you could play from your toilet. But yeah, no, <laughs> like. Like seeing, but yeah, no, I keep seeing like on Twitter, like people going alarmist, going, oh, this is a video game crash. It's like, no, like I've said this before, this is like basically just capitalism working at its optimalness. Yeah. But yeah. it's not, you drain it's as much money like, as possible and, um, uh, you know, they like, like, minimize but, losses, and that kind of has a problem with creative industries sometimes. Yeah, mm -hmm. and. What you're gonna see, what I predict you're gonna see, you're gonna see, you're gonna see, like, yeah. Oh yeah, never mind the Wii U, yeah, the Game Boy was the first console you could play on the shitter. That was a poor That's what even she you play. What about the Game Boy? What about the Game Boy? I was gonna say, you can play Game & Watches on the toilet. Yeah. You could play an NES on the toilet if you soaked it up. If you were P. Diddy, yeah. But no, what I was gonna say, I think from this video game thing, what we're gonna see is, like, a lot of triple A studios are just gonna yeah, so I want to see what Adam gone... Wolf looks like. Hell yeah! I oh yeah, we see. Saber's that. gone independent now. Gearbox have gone independent now, Toys and for Toys for Bob, Bob have gone independent now as well. I mean, I wish them the best of luck, but that doesn't fix the money problem. Wait, did Gearbox go independent? Yeah, well, like, yeah Gearbox have announced they, they're buying their independence back from Embracer. Re Remy Ismail has talked about how, like, just like a lot of like the funding, even in the indie space, is kind of drying up. Because, like, uh, League of Geeks, they had to, you know, lay off some people, I think, and also cancel some projects because they just uh, don't have anyone that is willing to fund them. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, like, it, it's been a trend, like, you know, video games has gone up, up. it was a bubble. Oh, I think, yeah, the current AAA model of, like, PlayStation is not really sustainable. I think even when the Spider, Spider-Man people kind of came out so, the other day and said, yeah, this is, in, this is... Spider-Man 2, the latest game that came out, cost 300 million and it hasn't made its money back yet. Yeah. Really? Yeah, no, I mean, yeah, the big, you go also, I'm gonna assume we're gonna have to go with the, bo the uh, you know, box office stuff that this is also in, this isn't including marketing. Oh yeah, and then marketing. Yeah, this is level. I think after this level, I'm going to call it. I'll do the disco cheat. And yeah. Then... Oh yeah, we'll do some cheese. Then, yeah. And be yeah. There. Yeah. 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 This is where like I like I do oh, wonder what, which direction scene. the industry is going to go in. Like, uh, my my prediction, and my it's kind of just yeah. Ill my kind of ill informed pr prediction, but like what I got, like we're gonna see the big studios consolidate them more, like. Me, they're going to release less games, but like more surefire hits. Like, okay, yeah, so you think they're going to go like. Joke Boat was meant to be next time, games. last time, but it just kind of yeah. got forgotten about. Maybe not big, maybe with bigger, just certainty. So, like, I can see EA going like, okay, we're scaling back and doing a lot of just. Sports. So, well, Spider Man see, like, 2 I... is probably going to come to PC because the other Spider Man games have. It's just that. To sell PS5s, they have like a grace period of at least 12 months on there before it comes anywhere else. So. Yeah. Um, when Switch 2 comes out, that's gonna do well. Okay. Oh, Switch 2 isn't that they, they've said they're not saying anything till next year. Maybe. It was actually Are funny. A mate of mine, oh, who, got, saying, a mate of mine who got a Switch last year was kind of like. I'm not gonna buy a Switch because they're about, they're, they're surely about to announce one. He did eventually just kind of cave and get one, but he just he was so sure yeah. that the cycle was coming soon. He's like, there's no point buying a Switch. There'll be a oh, new yeah, one no, soon. Oh yeah, that, this is kind of like why I've been holding back from getting a Switch. But also, yeah. and and it's funny because like the big success stories this year, like How Divers, which was made by like a, not a team as small as this one, but like on a double A budget, and then Balatro, which was made by one guy. Yeah. No. Yeah. The problem is, is that you can't have a AAA industry which is built on games made by one guy. Like, yeah, exactly. And, and not to mention think... those games are just flash in the pan. Look, it would be very funny though to see like studios taking the wrong lessons from. <laughs> oh, from what? And just a bunch of poker games come out. Although that'd be yeah, good. That'd be. Very I mean, I was funny. thinking as well as like, yeah, like how many puff pieces were written about a Lethal Company, and now that's just a game that's just 
around. Now. Yeah, no, like, uh, I think the bigger one example is uh, Pal World. That was yeah, the although Power World has, is now on track to be like the best selling game of this year. Granted, it is the 3rd of March. So, yeah, yeah. Right. I mean, but I've said it before, I think Power World is more an example of how strong the Pokemon uh, IP is that more than anything else. Uh -huh. Poker Knight at the Inventory Free. That's what, this, oh, that'd that's be what good. they're going to Okay, so what, yeah. what characters are they adding to that? Oh, oh god. Because well, we have to I'm follow the trends of the other ones. Because that where... means they can't do well, So, him. like, one of them has to come from a comic. Uh, yeah, so right. one of them's one of the Homestuck guys. There's, There's not no really much surprise of getting away with Power World. But all the thing of, like, oh, Nin Nintendo's gonna do is, like, you can't, because it's not actually Pokemon. They don't own anything that would, like, but stop oh, yeah, them doing and, anything And also, like Pokemon, that. the Pokemon company does not care. They still... Yeah, yeah, because everybody was like, "See, they've taken a year off. That proves that Powerwood has them shaking in their boots." And it's like, I, no, this you is have like, a, do you have like... a child's brain? Like, I mean, a lot of people. Like, that, I, like, I also, the thing about Scarlet it is, like, I, the only reason out. Nintendo said we're looking into this was to stop people sending them messages. Yeah, no. and and Moskis, I want to, because he's because he's just said, I think Arrowhead is still independent too, but that game was very much published by Sony and PlayStation. Let's not also let's not. Forget cool. that game was also in development for ten fucking years. It probably wasn't cheap to employ people for that oh, many, for, for those many months. And also, it's Sweden, so they're like, you know, they're not gonna take, like, but like, no shit money pay for that. They're getting. Well, I, I saw an interesting thing in the week of like people going, why haven't there be like a massive amount mm. of firings from Japanese companies? And it's mostly because of their labor laws. Don't yeah, allow exactly. you to do that. Oh, yeah, I've seen stuff yeah. going around like that because I, I don't see the whole thing of it, but it did feel like a few people were trying to go, were trying to immediately shut down. Like, no, this isn't old oh, glorious Nippon cares about its workers, its protection laws. And I'm like, man. The whole argument is so brain. Everyone's so brainless well, about how to even argue about anything nowadays. No, exactly, and it's also brainless because Square Enix fucking closed down Luminous Studios after yeah. people spoke and only yeah. sold like ten million copies or whatever it was. Like yeah, branches exactly. in other branches in other fucking you know parts of the world, they people got you know shit canned immediately. Uh, oh yeah. Do I have to hold? Can I hold this up so you can go through? Like, can we fifty cent this? No. No, I think because the switch is. Broken. Oh, maybe the switch is somewhere else. Oh, maybe there's different? like another thing you're supposed to. I'm trying to, I'm trying to remember. Maybe I can push 16. a box underneath it. I'm trying to remember what the fuck. What was the? I think the end story for FF16 was that FF16 sold well, but didn't. I think it was like Forspoken speaking of it. Oh. Didn't it? Yeah. Fuck, didn't it bomb so hard it wouldn't like any 16 sales couldn't like make up for it. Ooh, From what I understand, hell. yeah. Which is like I'm curious when it comes out on PC how. And it's the thing that's a, and again like Snake, going back to the thing of like everyone's trying to give solutions to this, no one's quite right. There was an article that pissed me off earlier this week, which was, see, the success of Hell Divers Two means that double A games is what you should do, and all their examples were Hell Divers Two sequel, Baldur's Gate Three a sequel, and the world's biggest fucking IP. And yeah, like, okay, I mean, that, those were those are like, people who they just yeah, wanted like, to write like, a piece. Like, they didn't have time to actually fucking think of like, anything. Like, so they can't think of anything. Then, like, like, what the fuck? since the original Baldur's Gate. Yeah, oh, yeah no. and then oh. and then compare that to what Immortals of Avium, which was built on the same budget, and oh, no one bought it because it was a new IP. Oh, the fun yeah. part about like that was seeing a guy saying we made a game that was single player. It wasn't live service. It wasn't such. And look, it didn't sell. He's like, did you send this game out to die to justify making live service games? I think EA sent it out to die because they, apparently they didn't throw any marketing budget yeah, behind it. Yeah, it's like you can't be yeah, surprised yeah, they... this game no one's heard of. And I was betting, especially because I saw the trailer when they did the, you know, thing on it. The that was the thing generic... as well. It was like an Unreal Engine 5 game. The most which, generic like, no one has, like, fucking specs for that. Yeah. Uh, like, that was just visual noise, that fucking game. God. Yeah, this is... Sorry, apologies, everybody. This has been the most political... Yeah, we can talk, we can talk, about, we can talk about the popping of stu of heads. We can go back yeah. to... It. Can you stop... You, you Look... Stop I, What? Stop Stop grabbing it. I've Calm gotten down. you in. Come on. Uh, press, why, didn't you tell, why didn't you press the X button? Yeah, there we go. There we go. I'm coming. Maybe I'm I just coming. wanted him to work on his biceps. 
Um, but yeah, the games industry is in a weird place at the moment, and I have no idea what's going to happen next. But... I think, like I said, I think a lot of consolidation, like a lot of studios are sadly going to get shuttered. But I think AAA it is studios are just going to... It is funny as well, gonna... I still get, because like, alright, you know, Saints Row, Saints Row 2022, bad game. Oh god, we're immediately back on it, but... Like, I still get comments about, uh, oh, the studio shut down, see, it was things, ah, uh, woke game, and it's like, uh, you really just want the narrative, don't you? Because you don't yeah. Oh, oh yeah, anybody who said, like, I, I saw a comment which was just like, if they made a good non-woke game, it would have sold, and it's like... It no, sold to their, like, like, sold again, to their like, projections is, is the, the stupidest fucking stuff. people yeah, on like, earth, because like, they just like, try and find the simplest stuff to it. It was like... Oh, the, the the game had a woman in it. Go, it didn't sell. And it's like, yeah, yeah. Meanwhile, they're oh, like they're just completely oh, yeah. ignoring hey, Baldur's hey, hey, Gate hey. Three. What are you doing? Which is like, yo, very woke. At least from what I hear. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, you can have gay sex nonstop. Yeah, and, and that's like it's the just biggest the longest game bump of, session of last game. year. I've heard that you can't do that in this game. Granted, it was only made by 30 people in 12 more. If they had 31, but... then I... the bum sesh would have come in. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's what... I mean, do you know what my favorite kind of, like, weird Batman fact is? Is that, like... On, like, Batman games and on Batman films, they always have somebody who does the cape. And so, like, on Arkham Asylum, they had a single programmer who did the cape. And on the Batman films, they had a single VFX artist who did the cape. I always just think that's interesting. Was like you just have a cape guy. Yeah, like, that's that was that thing. Oh yeah, that was and yeah. Baldur's Gate Three, horniest game of all time. Yeah. Really. yeah. Now that you know, you know, horniest Baldur's Gate Three were hit games. out on illusion and killed them, so they could be. Why am I even saying? <laughs> that bit, that bit fell apart. That crumbled to dust as it was going from my brain to my mouth. It's because game is the noise. Like, I, yeah, I really, I wish the, the I wish Skeleton was here. He could have finished it's that like, for. Speaking of uh, Baldur's oh. Gate 3, I did really enjoy your tweet where you talked about how you and your mate fucking just tossed. Oh them off yeah, you off killed the you killed the vampire guy. Yeah, no, Which... it was real. It was it's funny as well because people who respond to that tweet took it as like. Yeah, we hated this guy. It was literally just we were co-oping it. We got jumped by what is the vampire guy's name again? Astarian or Astarian, Astarian yeah. Whatever. And like my friend was like, "Let's kill him." And I said, "What? No, he's a he's a part. He's a potential fight member." He's like, "He jumped us. He dies." So we just beat the shit out of him and threw him <laughs> off the cliff. To, like that's pretty good. Start of Baldur's Gate three, and he's did. That was. I mean, that was him role playing. He's like, "No, nope, guy jumped us. He's a threat. He's got to die." Yeah. <laughs> I mean. To be fair, I would do that too. <laughs> One of my tabletop characters would absolutely yeah, do that. Yeah, there are several of your tabletop characters who would have like just murked Astarian instantly for the for the indiscretion. Ooh. Mars. Like one of one of them would murk him because he's a vampire. One of them would just do it because Oh yeah, yeah. Victor would have fucking destroyed Astarian like no time flat. Meanwhile, I kept trying to put gay sex in my Fucking role playing games, and those these two knuckleheads are like, no, I just want to do the role playing. Get that out of here. See, yeah. I'm, I'm too yeah, busy tried playing to bait, Neverwinter tried to bait the hook. to care like, about just... Baldur's Gate. Yeah. I just, well, if I ever I said, Baldur's... Snake, I'll let you roll with something extra if you just engage with it, and you're like, no. Hey, look at the scope. I only just noticed if that. If I ever play Baldur's yeah, Gate, no, it's doing I'm... like a nice, it's doing proper little reflections. It's cute. It's nifty. Vamp Man. twink I destroyed. Play this gate free. I should just dream it, and but do it like no shot. to all romance. I am not having cringe self insert romance. Uh, I, when I do tabletop games, I get kind of irked by like romance stuff. I just don't want. Yeah. I don't want to play that out at I mean, a table. Yeah, Oops. no, it's not for me. I mean, I I've done that, but I will say it, it was very really because something that Sweet said, which is just like if I ever have one of our games. It would be like that episode of Brock's Modern Life when he works at the fucking... Yeah. Oh, baby, oh, baby, oh, oh baby. baby. Oh, yeah, Rock, shot out Rock, the air. Oh, is that you? Rock, see how oh. sick that was? You were looking the wrong way. <laughs> Mrs. Big Head? <laughs> you know what? I want to knock a cleaver out of the air with a cleaver. Oh. What does getting all the headshots do? It gets you medals, and yeah. the more medals you get, the more stuff you unlock. Yeah, I get, like, armor upgrades and ammo upgrades and, um, just bonus stuff. 
Did you post the Marcus Mark 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 yeah. I did. <laughs> it's a really good. It's a good. Ooh, um, thank you for the bits. Oh. Hey, Snake, thanks oh, for introducing me to the Brigand Games. To make a long story short, if you check out the Steam page, one of my fan art pieces is now the Steam page banner. Hey, oh, awesome. Nice. Oh, wow. There's some interesting stuff coming up with Brigand. Like, they got those, they got, like, yeah. a couple of fan mods. They got, like, a semi, like, fan-made kind of prequel set in Texas that Brian's been talking about. And one guy, look up the trailer for the game, um, for, or mod, for Want of a Smoke, I think it's called. Mm. Um, which is, like, a super impressive-looking Brigand mod. But I have to look at the store, I have to look at the store page. For a moment, Were I you you're at, talking are about you Yeah. Oh, was it? I was going to say, so were you looking at like the sort of court, like reflection caustics happening around the knife? Which I, think I actually is wasn't. No, I didn't even notice that. I was going to call it. Oh, I guess it is caustics because it's how it's played with the light. But... Hang on, let me go. I'm not. I've not got a good eye for this. I do see it. Kind of... Ah. Yeah. No. It had it. Yeah. It had a bit of a glowing aura. Yeah. If you look yeah. back. At, yeah. There we yeah. go. That could is that? Do you think that's emulation, or do you think that's that? That is ten thousand percent emulation. Uh, it, it's it's another Jake the Dog effect. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just one that looks not Warlord as bad. Warlord Warlord Warlordocracy is his next game. God, that is a oh yeah, that is an that's awkward pretty... title. <laughs> yeah, that's a pretty good. I've, uh, I've already bought the game though. Brigand. I don't know if I'm gonna. Pl I don't know if I'm gonna do a video on it. I should play at some point, but that's like super out of my genre wheelhouse. But that could be a reason to try and do a thing on it. Let me play it and let you know how how good it is. Yeah. I so I went to the Brigands page. It says similar games you played, the Forest and Dying Light. How would you say that snake? Is that close? Um I mean there I are like survival the forest elements is good. Whoa! Whoa, hey! hey oh, yo. This guy was powered by the backdraft. He he is Mr. The only thing I know about the film Backdraft is that they made a joke about it, I think, either on The Office or, like, Brooklyn Nine-Nine, where it was, like, fire... Firemen don't like the film Backdraft because it's about an evil fireman. <laughs> but, there you go. How the fuck... It, what the fuck is an evil fireman? Does he just go and say oh, he's no, no, he, well, Spoilers for the film Backdraft, but he's a fireman who causes fires so ah. he can get the glory of putting them out. Oh. You know, yeah, I, that's kind of figured. <laughs> And, and and the reason I remember this as well, sweet, is that because I put that as an element in one of the Gotham Nice games was that was the Firefly guys were all like ex firemen who were doing that. No problem. You're just cheekily setting some fires. Yeah, just setting fires and then putting them out. Uh, yeah, they gotta keep yeah. the budgets up. Um, so has fun. Snake ever covered a horror game? Good question. Uh, I don't remember. Well, he's covered many horrible games. Covered. covered horrible games, yeah. And I was gonna say, horror Sensor is really not my speaker. horror is really not my genre because I'm a massive pansy. Um, I feel like I would like appreciate more horror, but I haven't played like a ton of like horror staples. I'm trying to think of a horror. Maybe the suffering could be in your wheelhouse. For, like, it's got that jank stuff. quality, from what I understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, it's not, it, and, it, and it seems like the sort of thing that you would have played as a kid that you just picked up from Maury's. So. I guess like you the know, thing that would count is like hunt. zombie games, but I don't even know if zombies really count as horror anymore because zo zombies in my mind aren't particularly horrifying. Like, and what do you say like, like Left 4 Dead is scary? I mean, no. it's Ted. It's got a horror. Oh fuck! It, Lovely. You no, know, it, it's Lovely. scary when you see a witch, but like, yeah. not not for, not because. Don't, don't fuck with a witch, man. The actual uh, horror, famous yeah. this. Can I repeat? Oh, that? actually, yeah. Condemned Criminal Origins is probably like the most quote horror game that would probably be a fit. Yeah, channel. yeah I, mean, hey, and you I did, like that. I like that game. I did a did a live stream of it years ago for charity. Yeah. Beat it in one sitting. While getting drunk. Well, drink, while drinking easy special game to drink because it was a game about homeless people. I mean, I had a really dumb bit. It was the wrong audience. Mostly American. Mostly watching a channel that does like Kingdom Hearts stuff. <laughs> mostly and then Kingdom my Hearts bit is, Then my bit is getting drunk off of special brew and making jokes about fighting homeless people. It's like, this isn't the crowd. <laughs> oh, tough crowd. <laughs> tough, tough crowd. You gotta know your Oi. audience. Oh, hey. 
Oh, right, do you have to think about the entrance will be the question. Oh, no, no, mind. There's no timer. Oh, uh, there's no timer, so I'll okay. take this at my leisure. And apparently not super fast, then. A leisurely hostage rescue. Hostage? hostage. Injured rescue. There's a... There's a game that I've been meaning to look into, because I, I, I've i heard it's a bit of really good jank. Mm -hmm. Um, called uh, Witch Hunt. Oh. Um. Oh, somebody mentioned Witch Hunt in the chat. Um, yeah, what is I, Witch I Hunt? I haven't gone back to... I, to be fair, I just, like, I didn't go back to doing, like, follow-up marathons. I don't, mm. I've never really gone on the whole kind of charity stream thing too much. Um, what if you I'd, did your own, what if you did your own charity oh, stream? I, I, I don't have enough pull to do anything like that. You don't know, you got a pretty big subscriber voice. Also, I just don't want to stream for 24 hours, which I think is like the way they do enough. those things. I've seen smaller people do I burn out at like I, I was going to say something. Uh, yeah. What if we, what, when we want to have the 24 hour joke? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good bit. <laughs> do, it for, do it for comic relief. <laughs> oh, man. That, that is oh, a oh, good oh, bit. So many guests. Jesus, I just came up with the idea. We have to hit a certain number, and when we do that, we will stop the stream. <laughs> No, that's a terrible <laughs> idea. Also, oh, oh yeah, the for the because he's the forest. That is a reference, isn't it? Like finding yeah. Forrester, maybe. Or is no? Am I? Well, I guess also like Forrester fire. I don't know. Oh yeah, I made a forest fire joke earlier. God, I'm terrible at navigation. Where's the exit? I am just left me idea of a 24 hour joke boatathon, but ah. with the thing of if we raise like I don't know 10 or 100k. We well, we're meant to be doing we AI will, jokes. We will stop the stream early. We will stop doing jokes. <laughs> we were meant to do AI joke boat for. for like, oh Jesus! Yeah, that's, remember that? That's still How such a good that? idea. How I mean, let's, let, I mean, now that we've said the idea, that doesn't stop us from doing it. No, it doesn't. I mean, it, it puts it in the public consciousness. We got to do that yeah. sometime. But so we had an awful like because because Tuja sent to us like, and I think this was a news story for a minute, but. This pa this website which had like shitty AI generated art of Pac Man, and then AI generated jokes for Pac Man, and it is like properly. Can you can you pull like, up the uh? Can you pull up yeah. the Pac Man AI jokes? Let's do a let's do a few. Like like I think the Pac Man AI jokes is funnier than the Willy Wonka AI experience, which everyone's gone in on. But the unknown. That's oh, pretty. The unknown is unknown. pretty funny. I mean that picture of the the Oompa Loompa. Was yeah, no, that is, that is. Oh really, yeah, that, um, that poor like Glaswegian woman. Yeah. Apparently a very no, that... nice. Apparently a very nice woman. <laughs> just. Oh yeah, no. Yeah. She she went on TikTok and she was just like, yeah, I'd like, I need the money. Yeah. Oh, it was really funny hearing the guy who played the um, Willy Wonka. <laughs> Sorry, I'm laughing looking at these jokes again. Okay. All right, everybody, get, get, put your put your laughing gear. In, Hang on, yeah, uh, post it in the right. thing. I'll do it. Let's... All right. Okay. How does Pac-Man get around? I don't know. How? He takes the ghost bus. <laughs> <laughs> what? They, they he takes the ghost bus. bus. Okay, chariot. What, how does Pac-Man sneak? How does uh. Pac-Man sneak around town? I don't know. With, with... He uses his ghostly powers and becomes incognito. <laughs> now, hang on. What? I've got I've got Pac-Man lore issues oh, here. What? Yeah, yeah. I was about to say, like, do, does he have the ability to turn invisible? What did Pac-Man say when he got a job at the zoo? I don't know. What did Pac-Man Pac say? say? Waka waka. I can't wait for some very. Fruitastic adventures. <laughs> Didn't realize an AI could be so verbose. Oh, hello. How do Pac Man's ah! family members stay connected? They have a ghost ination family chat. You're all under. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's time. Oh boy! Oh, oh, so that was just a uh, Pac-Man tastic puns to munch on. Editor's pick. Yeah. Uh, okay, but oh, Snake, oh, you, oh, you'll oh, appreciate those are the this. Editor's picks. Yeah, those are editor's picks. But Snake, you'll appreciate some wacko wacko wordplay. 
Snake, come on, rip and tear. Hey, I'm someone. not in range of anyone. When I get in range, I'm gonna rip slow and tear. Slow-mo? Slow-mo? When Pac-Man gets I have ready the slow-mo. <laughs> when Pac-Man gets a coat, he always has a cherry-flavored pack medicine. Who needs Sheen's pistols when you have a roll? Wow. Ow! So, so I guess, like, you know, you know, they just think, like, oh, well, the concept <laughs> of eating fruit is just such an iconic Pac-Man bit. <laughs> a bit. But... Eating fruit is a bit. I yeah. asked Pac-Man if he wanted dessert, but he replies, I'm already stuffed with ghosts. <laughs> How does Pac-Man get a perfect score on his test? He uses know. the cheat codes, control, and alt innate. Uh, physics! Hey, physics, let's go! Hey, hey, Jurassic Park Trespasser. Oh, they're gonna uh, blow up. Oh. That's underwhelming. I don't, uh... Boom! Why did Pac-Man refuse to go on a blind date? Why did he? He didn't want to be caught in any me sphere exceptions. What? What? That's, that's how it's written. Um, you, you tell Wait. me how that's meant to be said. Was that like sphere, as in like round? Yeah, but it's spelled spear, like a like a like, knight, like a Pac-Man like a known for using spears. Wait, what the? Okay, now we have double entendre puns. Pac-Man knows how to handle big balls. He never shies away from the power-ups. Maybe this is what? what Lisa did. Yeah. Oh, good. Our trap. Oh, what Lisa Thompson. was writing AI Pac-Man oh, while no. she was using ChatGPT for fucking. She's uh, helping out here. Yo, yo, this is what she did after the whole Realia incident. This is this is writing about ponies and boys or whatever it is that fucking yeah. uh, the Myers said. There is an enemy around here. I saw him. Come on, reveal yourself. <laughs> I think you tased him. No, I saw another one run past during the ragdoll. Maybe I'm just getting old. Oh! Can I push the John over onto the enemy? Oh Jesus! There's there's hundreds of these Pac-Man jokes. Man, I I can't wait for this to dominate search engines. Uh, like we even have like cele like celebrity pun Pac-Man names such as Pac-Man oh! Gosling, Pac-Man oh, Schwarzenegger, Pac-Man Rooney, <laughs> Pac-Man Pac Durin. What the fuck Pac-Man Rooney jokes are there? What AI yeah. knows about Rooney? Back mango and chains. I'm. Wow. Either way, yeah, this is gonna destroy us. In, yeah, like, um, like, like, society is over at this point. Like, uh -huh. you know, you know, it's all over. There's no saving it. I was gonna say, we were talking about the games industry being in disarray, I don't fucking you know. No, is jokes there any two Pac-Man jokes in there? Mazgara Snoogie brings up a good point. The AI's missing the obvious here. Forest for the trees. Yeah, no, they, they don't make, yeah, they don't make it to Pac-Man joke. Or like, Pac-Manfred or something oh, like that. Oh, he can, they can knock your shield out of the way. Pac-Manchester? Pac-Manchester, yeah. Uh, Pac-Man Rooney actually plays for Pac-Man Chessy United. Uh, Pac-Elephant Man. Pac-Elephant Man. <laughs> it's a bit laboured, that one. Uh, the, the next David Lynch movie, Pac-Elephant Man. <laughs> Treat me with respect. <laughs> Ooh. Man, the guns in this game. I'm still impressed by how meaty the fucking guns are in this. I mean, again, like, you know, we were talking about black earlier. Yeah, Did no, the it's guns got the black thing of the guns are big. 
Hmm. Oh yeah, the gun models in this are fucking gigantic. I mean, in every sense of the word, they sound big, they feel big, they are big. You know, I'm mute in 1988. I think you're right. It's funny because it's true. <laughs> but in a world it's... without truth, can anything be funny? Isn't that what- isn't that literally the thesis of Metal Gear Solid 2? What, is that I the thesis of Metal Gear Solid 2? Yeah. Remember at the end where Snake says in a world where nothing's true, can anything really be funny? I remember saying that, yeah. Yeah. Wow. I, I still think the funniest thing- I have a habit of, like, accidentally guessing Ooh. game synopses. I was gonna say the funniest thing about Metal Gear Solid 2 uh, is Chariot is that uh, in the beginning of the game they make you put in your birthday, uh, and my birthday is April thirtieth, and then they bring it up during the game, and I was like, "Wow, that Kojima, he really, he really went to extra effort with this." One. <laughs> wow. Hey, I can help you with that. This should make you feel better. So, 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 so it's like Undertale. Yeah. But also, no, it just turned out that April 30th is like an important date in like... It's just a random date he picked oh. out to be important in MGS2. It was, uh, it was their first date or something. Oh, oh like Rose. the day they got married or something? Well, it was the first yeah, oh. they met. You, it was, yeah, oh, do you remember so the day oh, we no, met? Oh, no, it was her birthday, right? No, oh, it was the day they met, because it's literally like... Yeah, it was the day they met. met. Yeah, no, you yeah. are right. So the game asks you to put in your information. Yeah, so because it's a Kojima game, at the beginning you put in your name and the date of, and your date of birth. And the reason it actually makes you do that is because if you play the game on your birthday, it just gives you a little mess. It just gives you a lot of message that says "Happy Birthday" with a little cake on it. But that's it. Oh, interesting. Uh, NGS Five, on the other hand, if you play that game on your birthday, oh. you get like an exclusive cutscene of them bringing out a cake. Of uh, birthday boss. Yeah, yeah, and then they sing um they sing a copyright free birthday song, which is better than Happy Birthday. It's your birthday. It's oh, did you yeah, know? Like yeah. Warner Brothers doesn't actually own the rights to the ha to Happy Birthday. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, they, they are they being countersued for millions for pressing it over the years. Mhm. Mm oh, interesting. April thirtieth was also the day of Washington's inaugural address. May your sky stay... God, I can't remember the cadence of it, but it's a good song. <laughs> also, you don't want to hear me sing. Also, it's nobody's birthday, so Death Stranding it also has a birthday cutscene. Oh, no, they Death never Stranding. did, oh, they never did own birthday. it, I don't think. <laughs> Alright, let's do the emergency situations. I got one of those. I want to see what new gun I get. And then we'll do disco uh, time. Then we'll do disco time. Give some cheats as well. Yeah, we're gonna I, do well, I mean, Oh, should I use cheats for that? Yeah, why not? Let me, yeah. um, I, I know somebody mentioned it. Unless you're very quick and can post them in the chat again, I will bring it up on. Yeah. yeah. I got riot grenades. Sting ball. Riot grenades. Non lethal ball. particles. See you, Jago. Uh, Sting ball. Have a good one. I'm gonna do. See ya. We will do this. Riot grenades. Ball. What's it called? Again, um, urban. Chaos, so I gotta go riot. back to the. I gotta go back to the main menu, yeah? Yes. So I gotta be here. Yeah. Uh, okay, so go to IGN. Okay, so I gotta at the enter, main I menu, gotta enter, enter a code first, right? To... Yeah, so you have to enter a code which is up, up. Yep. Down, down. Yep. Circle, down. Up, circle. Now you're on the cheat menu. So oh, yeah, dancing feet. feet. Um, it's written all caps. Is it all I caps? don't know if that should make a difference. Yeah, it's right. Yeah, I'll do it. Uh... Man, remember sheets in video games? Man, this game it's even has achievements this... and it has cheats. Mm -hmm. The sweet. This this doesn't have um, big head mode, but it does have no head mode. <laughs> well, I think with the shotgun, I've been doing no head mode. Yeah, it's a good, pretty good background song. All right. Uh, any other cheats I should enter? Um, so there's something Squeaky called voices. terror mode, which uh, I don't know what that is. Um, there's burning bully, which is basically kamikaze from. Oh, uh, I'm, not too, I'm says, not too fond of kamikaze cheats. 
now, so I'll leave like that the then. Oh, um, what was, um, put in what was that? That tunes on squeaky voices. Is that all caps? Yes. Okay. What was that? Any cheats that aren't all caps? Um, they're all written in all caps on IGN, so I could not say. Mm -hmm. It is kind of funny for them to like, at, you know, have like a difference between caps and non caps. I, wonder, but you only I, wonder, now, caps I don't know if you want to use this one, but it might be fun. It's called Mini Fun, and it unlocks the mini gun replacing the pistol. Uh, hmm. I'm not sure. Yeah, you can also unlock the long range stun gun early. Ah, uh, no, oh. I don't want to cheat for. I don't actually want to cheat. No, for, that's fair. Anyway. I, I would say those were the only interesting ones. Yeah, Everything probably, else is when I play on my own, I'm probably going to deactivate these. I want to play. Do you think, do you think, play do you think so. Mother Load works on this? <laughs> <laughs> I wish. You just got to take one. This sounds a bit like a uh, audio slave song. All right, You're we like... got disco mode on. Mason, we have an emergency. We have panic at the disco mode. <laughs> disco is making a return, Mason. Destroy it. <laughs> I hasn't made this guy's voice squeaky, but this is probably because there's an FMV. Uh, that would have been good effort, though, if they squeakified the cutscenes. I will them. say, for an FMV, this isn't, like, too disgustingly compressed, which most PS2 stuff is. I think it helps that it's kind of meant to be CRT-ish. Yeah, true. You know, you know, you know, we were talking about CRTs earlier and how uh, That's true, yeah. they don't work in games, but sometimes... Oh, I, got an, I just got an upgraded shotgun. I was hoping for more, but all right. Don't know why I'm getting greedy, but I wanted like a sniper rifle or a grenade launcher. Oh, oh. getting some interesting stencil. Uh, oh. Up, uh, up oh, James, you have to look at the stream chat. There's an official Pac-Man joke book that Madman. Oh, posted. I heard of that. Yeah. Wait, what's disco? Is disco mode on? Did I actually? I'll just send this to you. Uh... Yeah, and it doesn't sound chat. like squeaky voice. This is on. Uh, maybe no, I'm looking I... the pause menu. Maybe under options? Oh, no, okay, maybe we have to... Oh, maybe... Maybe you, bit, maybe maybe you have yeah, to... Maybe back out and see... Maybe you have to activate them. Yeah. So they were active. They were active. Oh, try, but... try again. Yeah, I'll go try again. Just go back yeah, to... Maybe try a, mission you, try a mission you've already done. Like, maybe it's... Uh... brutal, but... Uh, I can't yeah. imagine it's that. Yeah, but... I might have just messed up something. Alright, what's, uh, what's the input again? Oh, no, cheats already activated. It's right at the end. Oh. Yeah, we just double check it. It's activated. Okay, so they're both activated. So what? Hmm. So what does Disco Cheat supposed yeah. to do? Unless maybe Squeaky Voices is only on the uh, bad guys. I don't know. Hmm. Weird. Weird. Could uh, you hmm. know what? Let's. Yeah, no. Like, try a mission that isn't timed. Or something yeah, I was like gonna. Say, uh, yeah, I was gonna try a mission. Try the first done. mission or something. Did you really do? Uh, let's do. Why am I being? The first mission. Let's do that. Yeah. Oh, it just occasionally adds disco effects. Okay. This. Hmm. I mean, I guess we'll find out what that means. Doug Johnson. D Doug, Doug Johnson. Doug originally joined the police department. He discovered a natural talent for fighting fires. Yeah, oh, maybe these guys yeah. could have joined the circus. Oh, the yeah. oh okay, yeah, never mind. The, the, the disco has kicked in. This is a good level for the disco. Oh, it just makes oh, all, yeah. does it make all uh, the light sources disco mode? I guess that's why it wouldn't work on the last level because it, it was a super flat one. Yeah. yeah. But no, now it now it's the caramel dancing meme where the guy's just on the floor and is uh oh, I'm Did I get the headshot medal on this level? I don't remember. I think so. Okay, uh no, I've got non lethal enforcer but not thing. That's nifty. I should probably do a level though. A new level. Yeah. Could be that yeah, the no, sheets voices didn't work, which is it could it could but... be that the sheets don't kick in the first time you play through a level. Possible. They weren't going then. Hmm. Yeah, it's not the end of the world. 
transmitter discovered on the gag. You know, I never Mason, actually checked you how turned many up here three times. Game. Do you actually want to do the mission or not? Hey, oh, there no. it's. <laughs> Help! My turning to fly. Oh my god, it's South Park. About to say. It does oh. sound like South Park. Oh my god, they killed Kenny. You bastard! Hey, you bitch assholes. <laughs> it's like a, it's like your fucking chipmunk. You know, them with the squeaky voices also makes it feel like it should be running like two hundred percent faster. Yeah. But... Uh, let me uh, desperately hit buttons. Yeah, no, it, it is so bad because it's just a bunch of people in high pitched voices saying all the swears. Whoa, what? I just hit the load button and undid everything. Oh shit! Why did I have? I, a, I... Why did I even have a state? Now I'm a state. <laughs> Fuck. Whoops! I'm gonna have to redo oh, all that. What an ending to this. Oh no, never mind. Ah, huh, what? Oh, okay, cool, no more. Never mind. That was a moment of panic. But the cheats oh, are gone. Oh, but the cheats are gone. Dang. Uh, wow, what? What just happened? I was trying to hit the frame unlimiter button and I uh, hit the wrong one. Ah, oh, dang it. Yeah, it might not be a bad place to end, actually. Yeah. With a moment of panic. Yeah. Hey, we will be resetting all progress so you can enjoy this game again. That's very cool. Oh, okay, it's not affected by save load states. That's very interesting. I guess that makes sense, yeah. Uh. It's also funny that in this mission where I unlock a better shotgun, the, I'm immediately thrown into an environment, which is, like, not quite shotgun ideal, but... Eh. No. Oh, this... Wait. Oh, it has a timer now. No, I think it I always had, had a timer. Oh, maybe I just... <laughs> okay, there's one thing I want to try and then we're going off. But okay. I got to... Oh, you got cleavers? Come on. Actually, no. Are you trying no. to, like... Oh, are you trying to see cleaver? if you can hit the um, molotov uh, with the cleaver? I wanted to hit a cleaver with a cleaver, but that's just probably not in my capabilities. Is it? Yeah, you'd want to run this at some um, slow-mo or something. I've shot cleavers out of the air, but never intentionally. That's kind of, you know, <laughs> kind of the problem. Not that on that level. <laughs> Boom. You know, I'm looking at the box art for this game, and like, Urban Chaos is in like, the biggest text possible, and then Riot Response is just really tired. It's like they were, somehow someone was thinking, we are going to bank on the IP. <laughs> But just in case anybody yeah. goes, um, you already released Urban Chaos in 1999. Um, <laughs> Whoops. Shut well, up. No, it's the right response. Yeah. I missed the axe, yeah, yeah, but yeah, I yeah, hit yeah, the yeah, there's, there's a game box art that I discovered the other day. It, it is truly atrocious. Let's uh, see it's it. for Shamu's Deep Sea Adventure. Ooh, and there's like... is, it, is it a game where you play as um, the famous uh, killer whale, Shamu? It is. Uh, it, oh. is, it is a game where you play as the famous killer whale from SeaWorld. And yeah. and there's like five different fonts on, on on this box art. Oh hell yeah. Which is which is amazing. Um oh. Hold on, I'm just like pulling it up. Um I also just think like the idea of there being a uh, Shamu video game. I mean kids Yo. love Shamu. There was a Jules Yuki? video game. Do kids really like shame, Shamu? Yeah, kids well, love, kids love, kids um, love like, Shamu. big shit. Like, they love, like, um, dinosaurs and stuff. Like, they're like a big dinosaur under the ocean. Oh, wait. Well, 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 kids aren't gonna know, like, about, like, I he's about to say kids the stupid. controversy around, like... Well, I was gonna say, a lot of people didn't know the controversy up until yeah. Blackfish came out, and that was only a few years ago, at which point Shamu was mega dead. So. Oh, it's Shamu, I thought you said Shenmu. <laughs> no. yeah, kids don't no, know no, the kids controversy hate, of Shenmue. No, no, kids like Shamu, but they hate Shenmue, and I don't blame what them. Shamu. Shamu was a, a big famous whale. Uh, yeah, Shamu uh, was like well, one it's, of. It's, a, it's kind of a series of whales. I didn't uh, know that one, Mad Man whales. Epic. What else can the police throw um, to dodge responsibility? All of you guys hate games. Um, so Shamu was a famous killer whale who was at SeaWorld, I believe. Free uh. Willy. Star Shamu, right? Oh, okay. Oh, I... 
I'm not sure what movies star Shamu. Come on, come on, come on. But this is um, like that time in the 90s where, like, kind of Sonic kind of stuck into this, where people were really into, like, ecological concerns. I mean, they still should be. So, like, that awkward, awkward moment when Rio killed the dolphin. <laughs> well, no, Echo the Dolphin fell under that as well, where kids were just, like, into eco stuff and, oh, you know, the the whole wide world and that kind of thing. Yeah, them and yeah, so, like, well, like, Free yeah. Willy is about that. Oh, no, sorry, Free Willy is a different whale. Never mind. All right, I'm running out of time. Let's go. Uh, uh, oh, Sado hates say the black fish came out ten years ago. I can believe that. Apparently, you get to explore the city of Atlantis in the Shamu game. Ooh, that's cool. Okay, yeah, because I was like, no, kids don't fucking know what Shenmue is. No, kids no, 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 no. Unless, no. unless they're like me when I was a child who got like very into the, like game historian shit. No one. Yeah knows what Shenmue is. There, there's gonna be some, like, Sega Mega fan that has kids, uh, and they're gonna, like, introduce them. It's like, alright, like, like I'm gonna, like, introduce you to, like, Rystar. And, uh... Dad, Dad this is cringe. <laughs> yeah, Dad, this <laughs> like, game sucks. I wanna play like, Fortnite. No, what, no, what, 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 what the fuck Son, is Son, I think Gen God should thing? kill you. Gen Alpha is probably saying something else, like, Dad, this is Schlapong. That what? Well, oh, Dan, ah, Jesus, oh, yeah, what's happening with the, ah. um... Your, your the burners is, have like... new tactics! Dad, this game isn't very skibbity. <laughs> this game is... This, this <laughs> well, game is... The, well, the Gen Alpha thing at the moment just seems to be stop yapping. I, yeah, like, have you had this... Have I've, you had I've this seen a lot of yapping. Where it's just I like, saw, when's this man there's gonna a, stop yapping? There's a guy stuff? who does, like, super long Persona videos, and he's, like, he went through, um... Persona free last God, I don't know what's going on here. But yeah, no, and then he did a, and then he did a Persona free remake is pointless video and one I saw is just this man speaking Japanese and I'm like, wow. <laughs> wow. Uh, the, the, the slang's way. evolved. The slang is immediately. But no, like, I, got one on, I got one on mine which was like, yo, can you stop yapping? And it's like, but you saw you clicked the fucking video. Like I'm, it's your fault. Yeah, like and it's not even like like that video is that long. Like, you know, it was no, like 20 I, minutes. Oh, uh, exactly. So, uh, so no, Gen Alpha is the, the fucking wash. Just turn <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, just yeah, wait yeah. for the next generation. You guys, you, just pull, you had yeah, just pull, No, just like, but all these kids, just pulp them and then just get started <laughs> on the new one. Old man <laughs> James here. Pulp the, pulp yeah, the Gen Alpha. I mean, yeah, yeah, James is over 30 now. Now it's his time. <laughs> Take the children. Mm -hmm. Sweet, yeah. you're over 30. Yeah, uh, really. you know what? Yeah, I will. I, I kind of agree with you, though. Like, the Gen Alpha, they're not bringing the heat, yapping and skipping. I don't know why. I'm just laughing at the idea of singing the children, but to the tune of Help the Aged by Pulp. So, <laughs> I do that later. <laughs> God. Yeah, no, they suck. And none of them are watching my videos, which is why, you know, they suck. So. God, you know what? Yeah, yeah, Snake. Yeah, yeah, Snake. Is that is a game. Putting... Snake is a game that no one in Gen Alpha knows about. Oh, what, the mobile game? Yeah, mobile game Snake. Like, that... Snake, I think, is a oh. game that is of a time in ways that other games aren't. Like, you had to have uh, the... That... You had to have a phone, and it had to be dog shit. I was or gonna say, is there not, like... Is that not in Fortnite? Just You can just play <laughs> Snake? I don't know, maybe. I mean, like, oh, I... I think they should add Snake to... Uh, it's, probably it's probably in Roblox. It's probably in Roblox. Uh, it's definitely in real blood. You know, beer root tapper. No one's. You know. You know the game. No one in Gen Alpha has heard of. You know what? I'm Wall Street Kid. <laughs> I don't even know what this bit is. But I went to some. I talked to kid. some fifteen-year-olds the other day. I mentioned Burger Time. They didn't even know what time it was. <laughs> <laughs> they said it was Skibbity Time. They said it was Skibbity. I said Skibbity yeah. what? Who the fuck is Skibbity? Yo, yo, uh... You have unlocked... <laughs> who's this new, who, who's this new character that we've invented? Fucking... Er irascible, it's it, older Italian-American man. It sounds like man. the Trump voice, but instead he's a cultural commentator who doesn't understand <laughs> the kids. <laughs> a lot of people come up to me, they say, skibbity toilet. Back in my day, it was just regular toilet. What was wrong with regular toilet? 
Yo, 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 hey, I had a nice <laughs> golden toilet installed in my crib. <laughs> That's true, they don't know about the bouncer. Yeah, I walked up to some uh, Gen Alphas today and I said, the bouncer, and they, the they called me cringe. Well, I said, they said they I was, said, was being very skibbity. They said, Garampa, I played this game, it fucking sucks. <laughs> I kicked them out of my house. Well, I tried to kick them out of my house. You tried to kick them out, but you could name down properly. for an extra second and they beat the shit out of me. Yo, 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 James, like, so, so the kids like watching Subway Surfers. And, you know, if I don't you think even know if they do. I think that's old. It's just Crash Bandicoot. That's true, yeah. Like, you know, you know, like, maybe you should just have, like, Crash Bandicoot running away from the camera. You know, less and, sneak and ahead's more sneak ahead's. I mean, unless you did make a video about that, but... Um, I don't think kids do like um, Subway Surfers anymore, though. I think that's I think that's old hat at this point. Well, it's like, they, they like watching footage. James, uh, that, that, that video, like that. That video yeah. you linked earlier today about the $1 pancake guy, was that a oh, bit? Yeah. Was that... No I, think, no, I think that's legit. What? No. That was like a no, perfect I... comedy skit. No, that no, wait, that's wait. real. Oh, $1 no. pancake? I haven't seen this. Jesus. This really is the we played a fun game, but let's just doom talk about the game. I, we could have just, well, the first hour was all me going, ooh, and then he started talking about the industry, and it was all downhill from there in terms yeah, of. Really is... I've got 16 true. medals, though. I've got two, I've got a lot to go. But yeah, I'm going to beat this game before the end of the month. Yeah, this game's really good. Like, yeah. I. I, I have done the praises of this game for as long as I've known about it. It was Which basically when I got into the Arkham games. But... I can't wait to unlock all 55 states of America as a reward. S salute. Salute the flag. I think we'll leave that there, though. Salute the flag. Yeah. Salute the flag. What did we learn? Police brutality is really cool. Yeah, um, police, police in real life Please in games though. Oh yeah. Oh that please. You know I think what? We learned in this game, in this motion. game, A cab stands for all cops are badass. All cops are based. <laughs> all cops are based. Jesus Christ. Even the firefighters are Police cops. brutality works, but only if you give an incentive reward. You've got to stun ten, headshot twenty. <laughs> we've we've yeah. learned that Rocksteady have always had it, and that this game probably made money because it was made by thirty people in less than a year and sold like sixty k copies, which you know good. that's the thing about like the industry at this time was like yeah, less time means less money, thirty people means less money, and they could crank out a game this good. We could have left Again, graphics here, and I would have been fucking perfectly content. I mean, it, isn't that like the the best friends thing of just like you could have just left it a PS2 graphics with better MC aliases, in which I know sounds stupid, but it is like no. It, we're gonna go I, like, this like, game Metal Gear Solid look, Two look still good. looks good. What did Nick? Oh, hang on, Mutant Ninety Eight. What did Nick Mason say to the burner? What, I don't did, know, they what, to the what did Nick did Mason they? say to the burner? Walk walk. He's, he's opening chat. <laughs> nice nice <burn>. boom. <laughs> ah. He set him on fire. <laughs> and then he was destroyed. And then people on the bus applauded. Fuck you know PS5, what, I want a PS2 too. Correct yeah. take. I don't want a PS5, I want a PS2 too, thank you. Yeah, good take. No, yeah. I, I, I just read that as PS2 minus 2, so you just want PS1. Which is what? why... Uh, two, two, two minus two is not one, Swede. Stop buying <laughs> PS5s. Wow. Yeah, but, alright. What did Nick Mason say no, to the paramedic? No, what a no, paramount PS2, moment. No, That's carry it. PS2 minus two is just PS, which is PlayStation, which is PlayStation 1. No, it is PlayStation 0. No, it's play. You were PS2 minus two, you just remove the two and you get PlayStation. I got one. What did what did YouTube's to Snaker say about the game moving chaos? It's a riot response. <laughs> you, how, the did, how the fuck did you think of that? <laughs> <man? laughs> Shit. <laughs> can read your damn mind sometimes. That family, <laughs> God damn it, yeah. Paramount. Good night, sweet. Good night, sweet. <laughs> Good night, sweet. Good night, sweet. <laughs> PlayStation.